everybody. It is 9 a.m. where I am. Um, let me just turn off my sound. Okay. So yeah, it's 9 a.m. where I am. Um, quite tired, but we're gonna do another 12-hour stream today of Spyro. We're on the third game. Um, year of the dragon and we are gonna crush it i know it um you guys are amazing and uh let's let's destroy that thousand dollars we're so close to a thousand dollars guys and i know we can do it i know we can do it so um thanks for stopping in and let's just start playing some spyro now Thanks for being up with me so early, everybody, if you're here. <laughs> if you're not here yet, that's okay. <clears throat> you should edit that uh, you're going live message in the dojo and say uh, and just at everyone why I don't want to at everyone but I'm allowed to right yeah that's why you should So as you can see, we've 120%ed Spyro the Dragon, we have 100%ed Ripto's Rage, and we are now going into here. The Dragon, we're 2% into the game, we've just gone to the main place and gone into one subsection. I'm just going to put another pillow behind me. That's better. This morning I was eating waffles and I bit my cheek really, really hard. So if you see me kind of like playing around with my mouth, uh, that's why. <laughs> it's all because of Waffle Goddess 22 last night with Apollo. Mm hmm. I think we need a little bit more to be able to activate that, so I'm gonna go up this way. Yo, Spyro! I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me! I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. Oh, I almost forgot! I found this egg. I 
remember there was a Spyro game for the Game Boy Advance, and oh my god, I don't, this is a I don't know what it's called, up, Spyro. but it had a, you basically the same premise where you have to like rescue one, baby dragons, it will allow you to fly for a while. and it was so hard. It was not enjoyable in my adult mind. Is it fire and ice? No, I don't think so. It had something to do with, um, like, Ripto again. to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. Have to put on deodorant. Can't forget that. Okay. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. Ha <laughs> ha! This pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape. If you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday. But for the time being, it's making me rich. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof! Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. <clears throat> so we'll be going directly into Sheila's elf because if you don't go in and do that right away, you won't be able to access her throughout any of the other portals. Um, and we're going to go back to the Roman one uh, once we finish Sheila's elf, which I find very fun. It's very enjoyable. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Okay. Hiya, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. So when you go to Sheila's, you actually get to play as another character, which is the first difference that you'll see in regards to um, the third game. Because in the first and second, you only get to play as um, Spyro. Can 
get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the jump button, then press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do a double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Ruby, my sister, as a dragon. <laughs> no, they're not going to talk to me. They're just going to let me go. smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. I like the way they say it in the original. Because he's like, Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. <laughs> Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house. Rhinox have taken over. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash their huts. They're too big to smash with your kick attack, though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse the Rhinox with taunts while you stomp their huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the action button in the air. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for the help, Sheila. Oh, you can have this egg I found in my house. Man. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select controls. my morning tea. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my voice is, uh, it's all that lemon. <laughs> <laughs> It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Oh, thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say. Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? I like clearing sections so then I know that I don't need to go back. So we're going to get rid of... Uh, <clears throat> Lundus, can you respond? Uh, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> you don't remember? No. Hey. Oh yeah, at a thousand, we're going to have Dulcie don her cape again. Oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> um, so yeah, Dulcie will wear her cape again. Um... If you have any other suggestions of what, as which we should do when we hit a thousand, please let me know because I don't know. I mean, I'll have to eat another lemon. But other than that, I don't really know. It's such a big milestone. have shut down our cloud generator and I may never see a rainbow again. Maybe Dulcie could try the lemon? No, she's like she's already snipped it. She won't go near it. Dulcimer. <laughs> Dulcimer. Yeah, she won't go near the lemon. <laughs> we could have Brady eat the lemon. I think we should have Brady eat the lemon. Yeah. That's okay. We haven't hit a thousand yet. <coughs> <clears throat> Let's 
Thank you, Mom. Yes. The metal armor those enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon plane. If you hold down the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. <coughs> decided my mom has said you're eating the lemon. Anything you're biting the lemon. So for a thousand uh, donation, um, I will eat a lemon. Brady will eat a lemon, and Dulcie will wear her cape. Because she's just so gosh darn cute. Sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted. So what are you having Counting for breakfast, gems? Mom? Oh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Glide, press the jump button at the very top of your jump and use the action button to hover at the end of your glide. Oh, I was just asking what you had for breakfast. Nothing yet going to make pancakes. Ooh, pancakes. We had waffles. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. Yeah, I got a new follower yesterday by the name of uh, Waffles. And, uh, Waffle Goddess. Oh, Waffle Goddess. And, uh, then I was like, okay, well, we're having waffles. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. Step on the switch yeah, to get but a when I was eating my waffle, seat. I bit Keep my cheek. Keep it until you get it into the pot. Like, really hard.
Yeah, now I've got this big, like, cut in my mouth. So, oh man, if I feed a lemon, that's gonna really hurt. harder uh, as a kid. The seeds would always burn out really fast. Hey Evo, I'm good. How are you? I bit my cheek this morning, so that hurt. But otherwise, I am good. You love Spyro? Me too. Same ones have been coming on. Yeah, you could have to clean it out for Yeah, we're on the third, uh, third Spyro, so <laughs> we finished the first and second one. We 120 to the first, 100 to the second, and now we're on the third game um, and our last day of the charity stream. So we've already smashed the goal of $500, so our next goal is 1000 which we're very, very close to. And at a thousand, I will eat a lemon wedge. Um, my husband will eat a lemon wedge, and our cat will um, will wear a cape. And our charity is Canadian Cancer Society. Um, it's a close to home kind of charity that I want to give back to. Oops, I missed that one. Ruby, um, you missed it. Uh, we actually found a dragon egg that um, was named Ruby.
get up there? How do I? I think I remember how to get up there. Okay, so we just finished uh, that. We're going back to Sunrise Spring. Um, the great thing about this um, game, the third one, is that I like how it goes based off of the seasons. Or, not the seasons. It goes based off of, like, time of day. The last game was seasons. So like I said, I like clearing areas first so I don't have to backtrack. Um, just makes for good time management. So I'll be clearing these ones before proceeding on to the next area. my beard thanks for the host yeah we're playing spyro we're on the third game right now of the trilogy for the at reunited last, my portal is working again come visit me at the tiki lodge Now, Molten Crater, we won't be able to 100% it in the first run. We'll have to come back to it. Um, which reminds me, we have to go back to another one as well. Um, because Sergeant Bird is in this one. Cat Cam! Yes! Morning Cat Cam! Okay. Um, let's get to it. Here she is. I think this is a good view. Let's get some mic gag. Oh. Oh, baby. Dulcie. We're here. Or we're here. Dulcie. I know, right? She's so gentle. Unless you go after the belly. Never go after the belly. I go after the belly and I'm fine. Yeah, well. But yep, that's Dulcie. And if we make it to a thousand dollars of donations, um, then we will have her wear a cape. We are $70 away. 
Yeah, you were saying you had five cats. <laughs> you should do a cat cam on yours, too. Are you affiliate yet or no? working on it when you get to um affiliate you should do a cat cam i won't be offended i won't feel like you're stealing it from me or anything because i'm sure there are a whole bunch of people who do it um but uh yeah you should do a cat cam <laughs> yeah. you'll get there it won't take too long Did you get the breakfast yet? i have not fed her yet no <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to this tiki guy. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the tiki lodge long enough Sorry to for the noise we're feeding the cat. Where's the Lendis cam? Oh, you want one, you want one of those? Okay, we'll look into it. <laughs> Who's asking that? Soak my beard. <laughs> Not nearly as pretty as the cat. <laughs> I appreciate that. But yeah, if we reach a um, thousand dollars, which we're only seventy away right now, um, then. Uh, Lendis will eat a lemon. Yeah, I'll have to be on camera for that, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have my water. Thank you. Treat yourself, girl. Okay. Good morning, skewed rooster. No, we're not eating lemon We're just eating wedges here. No, we're just eating wedges. No. Well, yeah, rooster. I generally. Except for the charity stream this weekend, I generally avoid showing my face and I generally avoid talking because I don't want to detract from Junella's stream. Making me want to play this now? Oh yeah. Spyro is the best. Oh, I have no... I, no I am. I. I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not eating a whole lemon. I'm just eating a whole lemon. <laughs> Be sure to keep your friends sparse dragon <laughs> I happy, refuse. Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly. Stretch my legs, thank you. Oh, my legs. Stretching the legs. I'm gonna need that throughout the day. last night.
And this is the area in which we can't get to yet because we need Sergeant Bird. you're doing good where is the charity at now the charity bar is actually at the bottom it's very hard to see because it's all purple now rather than orange um, we've actually got nine hundred and thirty dollars and fifty nine cents donated towards the Canadian Cancer Society which um, we our goal was 500 um, and uh, once we hit 500 Lendis donated $100, so I had to eat two lemon wedges at the same time, basically. And uh, then we made a new goal, which is 1000 I know, way to go, right? Um, this uh, community is amazing, and it wouldn't be possible without all of you guys. So, thank you. Um, oh, I forgot a basket. Um, so our new goal is a thousand. Once we hit a thousand dollars, which is 70 away, um, me and Blendis will both eat a lemon wedge and our cat Dulcie will wear a cape on camera. Spider, you're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through This makes store. me really fucking happy. <laughs> Actually, they paid me to guard their hideout. It makes me really right. happy. I'll we need to fix that donation bar to go to a thousand now, so then it's like somewhat feet. orange. But we've basically got 186% of what our uh, donation goal was. Thank you, Spyro. And best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Thank you for the host. Dragon looking for all those eggs because I saw a shifty looking bar, character with one I'll over there. It a, like a bright greenish blue kind of color. Okay. Just so it stands out. Yeah, because it's hard to see now that it's all purple, right? I can't donate, but maybe someone I know can. Yeah, I don't expect everybody to donate. I mean, if you can, you can. If you can't, you can't, right? Um, just showing your support in the chat um, and just being there for all that, you know, have gone through cancer or are currently going through cancer. That's what this is all about. And uh, getting funds is just, you know, icing on top. Soak my beard with the five dollar dono. Thank you. 
Thank you. Hi. There goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. Hey, Lindy. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. It's great to see so many people in here. Your favorite game? Mine too. We're currently on the third game out of the trilogy. Um, the original trilogy. Um, so... We are... Uh, doing what we can! So yeah, we are at... We're now at $935.59 donated. Um, we're so, so close. So we're um, $65 away from another $100 total um, at 1000 Me and Lendis will eat a lemon wedge and our cat uh, Dulcie will wear a cape. I know, it's amazing. We've done this for three days, so this is our third day of uh, gaining uh, awareness and funds for the Canadian Cancer Society, and I'm just blown away. I, I didn't even think we would make it to $400. Um, we put our, our goal at 500 hoping that that would, you know, be something to, to aim for, and you guys have just smashed it. No, the scents, uh, I don't think the scents were from you, actually. Um, the scents uh, came from uh, Emro and Dry Cornbread, I think. Oh, yeah. 100%. For every $100, um, it's a lemon wedge for me. This is a donation from my dad. He doesn't have an account, so he asked oh, me to put it in for my him. lordy. Thanks, Dad. This is a donation from my dad. He doesn't have an account. Okay, so two hundred dollars <laughs> from uh, from Lendis's father. Um, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we are now at eleven thirty-five fifty-nine. Let's go. Hype up that chat. <laughs> yes, wow. Ruby with the gifted tier sub. Tier one sub to Lindy. Thank you. Hey, Lindy, that's from my sister. <laughs> you are now part of the Snow Clan. Um, you are now a snowball. <laughs> and you have access to our tier one uh, emote. Uh, Snow Clan, hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Um, eventually, if you continue to grow that sub count, you will become a snowman. You will become a snow person with a top hat at the very end. But uh, yeah, you get access to that emote. That emote won't be around forever though, because we are getting new ones. So enjoy it while you can. Okay, so since we've got 200, um, we need to go cut some lemons because we don't have enough right now. So I'm going to go on a BRB and uh, go cut some lemons and we will be back. So stick around. It won't be long. I'll probably be like two minutes. Okay. All right.
Okay, we're back. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in chat. I was gifted yesterday too. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. <laughs> Spreading the love for sure. All right. Um. So who do you want to see eat the lemon first? We should both do it at, at the same time. Okay. Get in here. <clears throat> same time. Oh. Same time. <laughs> so here's our bag of lemons. One for you. One for me. <laughs> and then we will find Dulcie and put her cape on her. Okay. Are you all ready? I want to see that hype for the lemons. Hey, Soak, my beard. How you doing? Eat them all. <laughs> no. I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> I. I. Dulcie, stop scratching at the floor. <laughs> all right. I think we've got enough, uh, enough hype. Lemon, 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 lemon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Lemon. Come Cheers. On. Let's go. One, two, three. I'm salivating so much right now. Chat, this, chat, this doesn't do good. <laughs> you handled it a lot better than I did, though. Oh, is Dulcie interested in a lemon? She's sniffing it. She's sniffing. She's like, no thanks. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Let's get her in her cape. Maybe no reaction. There was a reaction there. Yeah, I say he eats a sour warhead. I am most definitely not. Eat a warhead. Nope. Eat a warhead. I am not. Eat a warhead. I draw the line at the lemon. You don't have to eat the rest of the le the the warhead. Just lick the warhead. Well, you want me to lick the warhead? Lick a warhead. Ruby, eat one of the candies. Eat it. <laughs> I can eat it. I will lick it. You gotta like keep it on your tongue, like lick. It's gotta be a big lick, not the tip of your tongue, middle to end. Okay. Okay, but that's it. This is where I draw the line, okay? <laughs> big lick. Which flavor do you want? Cherry. Black cherry? All right. These are the warheads. <laughs> My sister, Ruby, in chat, she got these and brought them over. I did three at the same time. As you can see, these are the extreme sour ones. Uh, extreme. It was a paid sponsor. It wasn't actually a paid sponsor. <laughs> it was a paid sponsor, eat it. Technically it was because she paid for it. Oh no, but they didn't pay us. No, no, they didn't pay us. <laughs> Warheads. Get on that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just a disclaimer to chat. I might have handled the lemon very well, but I hate sour things. I am a sweet person. I have a sweet tooth. I hate sour things. 
and this mother is going to be super sour. Just pop it in your mouth and then spit it out. I'm not going to pop it in. I'm going to drag it down my tongue. Okay. Like, I said like I was gonna do. Uh, Yep. Yeah. Okay. Make sure I'm, I'm on camera here. Make yeah, sure you're I'm... on camera. Okay. Ah. Eh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's not pleasant. <laughs> Boo. It's not pleasant at all. Boo. <laughs> Put it in there. Uh uh. Put it in there. Nope. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> <laughs> Morning! Oh. <laughs> Don't waste it. Eat it. Alright. Well, here you go. You get the rest. <laughs> all right, all the sour's gone. Oh, Ooh, it's on my lips. New emote, your face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Murderous intent intensifies. <laughs> Alright, all the sour is gone for sure now. Alright, Chad, hi hydrate her. Hydrate her. Get that off her tongue. <laughs> Who else is screenshotting this? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I just thought of something, Brady. What? I have to eat another lemon because it was $200. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's you. You have to, not me. Sour, sour surprise. <laughs> All right. Lemon number two. Hydrate yourself, girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. Soak my beard. Okay. What's out of stock? The yeah, hydrate think... yourself? Yeah, it can only be redeemed one at a time. Okay. This one's got skin. One second. Oh no, it's not skin. It just looks like it. Okay. Okay. Here's the second lemon. The streamathon is going great, Bador. You just tuned in for the lemon. We reached 1135.59. So for every $100 milestone, I have to eat a lemon. Um, so you just tuned in for me eating the lemon, and you'll be actually able to benefit from the $1,000 milestone. Um, Dulcie, our cat, is going to be wearing her cape. And you guys are going to be able to see that on camera. She's grabbing a bite to eat right now. She's just get, getting some breakfast right now. So I'm going to eat the lemon and then we'll do that. <clears throat> oh! Oh, the candy made it more intense! Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh. I'm sticking this candy back in my mouth. But it's sweet. The word? Yeah, it's sweet now. All the sour stuff is off of it.
I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> Ruby! I thought I was done with the lemons. I put them away. Okay. Lemon. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, we didn't put a cooldown on there. Oh my gosh! Okay. How unfortunate that we did. <laughs> oh, that one was more sour. <laughs> How unfortunate that we didn't put a cooldown on that. Uh oh. Mom! <laughs> Miori Blossom is my mom. Mom, why would you do this to me? It's <laughs> the sourest one again. Ugh. You guys are savages. <laughs> <laughs> oh ruby i just noticed you have a little gift box next to your name now that's because you're in third place for uh gifting uh subscriptions you're tied for third oh man okay Looking at what we've got, we've got $1,135. So we are 55? No, 65. We are 65 um, away. Um, ooh, dang, whoop, whoop, who's in first? the you should be able to see it in your uh chat but it's at the very top if you're on mobile you might not be able to see it but um first place is elo and then second place is lendis and third place is you and mro emro and evo <laughs> Riley says yes, yes. <laughs> 40 more points and you can add more lemon? No. No point redemption for warheads, lol. Yeah, no. There needs to be one for warheads, like 1, 3, 5, and 10. No. I did three and I lost feeling in my tongue. All right, is it time for the cake? All right, baby, yeah. it's time for the cat cam. All right, here we go. Here we are. She has donned the cape and she is now super cat. Look at that majestic form. No lick a lemon. We're doing cat cam. E B B. Cat looks a lemon. The cat won't go anywhere near the lemon. Can you say hi? Yeah. <laughs> 
thought so. My cat licked one once, never again. <laughs> no, she doesn't even care. Who's a cutie? Who's a cutie? Good girl. He's a good girl. What was that? You're a bird? Did you hear a bird? You gonna fly after her? Keep <laughs> on. Got the cape on, you're you have no restraints. You, can fly. you put shirts on your cats? <laughs> We're thinking of maybe adding uh, something to our snowflakes here that you can use your snowflakes on. Um, and that would be uh, costumes for Dulcie. Probably have to be a lot of points. Uh, and also we have to find the costumes to begin with. Yeah, we have to find the costumes because we've got a shark costume. We've got a dragon costume, which would have been perfect for this stream, but it's packed away because we just recently moved. Um, and she's got a Christmas costume as well. Baby shark. <laughs> oh, the beans. Fun fact, most cats wear 1T, 2T shirts. Good to know. Maybe I'll find something for her. <laughs> there we go. Get the top of my head. All right, let's go back to uh, some more Spyro. So we just came from Molten Crater. Um, now, because I just remembered, we have to do, we do have to backtrack. Um, garage sale for kids clothes ain't a waste. <laughs> nice. We have to go to Sunny Villa. My dog has an entire drawer dedicated to clothing. Oh, wow. But your chihuahua doesn't like the clothes? <laughs> if we put them on her, she just stands there. <laughs> okay. Years go back, the eyes get two times larger and she just stares at you. <laughs> she just nopes right out. Hey Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. Alas, I have lost my love. She's being guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Thanks for the lurk.
can I get up there? Liltsu, thank you for the follow. Glad to have you here. Hey, Deadly Odin. How is everybody today? What? Marco sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. Hi. Only Swainy, hey, I'm having a great day. We uh, started off the day um, with uh, just under $1,000 donated towards the Canadian Cancer Society, and now we're at 11.35. And uh, for every $100 milestone that we reach, we will be, um, well, I will be um, eating a lemon wedge. And you just missed um, the lemon wedges that me and uh, Landis had to eat, actually. Uh, how are you? I am good. Just finished a bottle of Pink Whitney. Ooh, Pink Whitney's good. Me and my sister had that. this gem over here up there but yeah I'm good um, and we're really making headway on this uh, this uh, charity stream I mean like the communities really come together and like family and friends have donated as well so it's really really great Yeah, Pink Whitney with Lemonade.
mixed it with Mountain Dew. Double rum and coke kind of guy. Yeah. I'm a whatever kind of person, really. Other than beer. I don't like beer. How did I miss five? Okay, we're going back to Mount uh, Cloud's Bars. Jack and Coke. Yeah. That's good too. Sorry, I'm quite tired. Monster and vodka? No, 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 no. No monster. <laughs> I can see the jam already. Oh. <laughs> Buddy Tony. <laughs> Every Friday you get six monsters. get it but I don't want to get my fur all wet maybe you could get it you can dive underwater by pressing the charge button when you're on the surface and charge underwater by holding down charge as well that is so bad soak my beard I'm not like judging you or anything but those those are so bad for you Dulcie is still wearing her cape come here baby there you go she was just sleeping in it my dad <laughs> I used to drink G fuel yeah I used to what was it it was like in high school I used to drink something and it was like all the hype and then I was like, you know what, this this is not good. <laughs> I can still faintly like gaze at the warhead. <laughs> So we were talking about it, and uh, I think we're going to keep the point redemption for the little lemon. Yeah. You guys seem to like making her little lemon, so... This is the first game that sparks these 
This is the first game in which Sparks makes any sort of sound. Like, in regards to a speaking sound. Can't look at the screen, sorry. Oh, bye, soak my beard. Thanks for stopping by. Seconds to spare. Thank you. Bye-bye. So close to their butt. Blame it. Third place. We can do better than that. We need first. Retry. But I went through every star. Concentrating so hard right now, getting like cramp.
Stretch your legs. Butterfly ahead of me so fast. I don't think I'm gonna beat it. I don't think I'm gonna beat it. Nope. <clears throat> Retry. can see the butterfly at least. I just need to catch up to the butterfly. Yes! Playing dirty! <laughs> is working. I'll see you at the beach. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuffed my friends in the jail cell behind you.
Q-Wing did. Hey, Jojo Pam, just wanted to pop in and say hi and show some love and support. Thank you. We're doing our charity stream right now. It's the third day um, and the final day for our charity stream. And we have raised over $1,100. Yeah, I did. I'm already doing it. for the world you're in. For all the Jasons out there, this is you. Dragon. I just met the dragon. <laughs> to get more distance when gliding. I don't think we can do this one either because I don't think we have the next person unlocked for it. If I'm correct. Actually, I think it's Sheila. seal friends are trying to take down a rhinoc fortress i'm about to go and lend a foot i love the smell of singed rhinoc in the morning
Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're hey, how you doing? Now. Were you so able sure to, to find some rest after yesterday's stream? Why don't you feel the heavy exhausted okay? but fully okay? awake due to adrenaline? Exactly! That is exactly how it was. Uh, I was so tired. I got a good rest. I was still tired in the morning, but... Um, like overall near the end of the stream I was so pumped Was distracted. Ready to try stomping the turrets again? Were you also freezing? I am usually cold after mostly sitting for such a long time. No, I wasn't. I wasn't really cold. Yippee! I'll light the fuse on the next bomb. Then the stretching really did help. Yeah, the stretching definitely helps because uh, I get wow. like cramped up in my I legs, like right in right in those big muscles. Nice and safe in my pocket. And uh, having those stretches in between is it's beneficial for it, really. Our beach is your beach. But you missed it, uh, this morning. Um, we got a $200 donation from Lendis's dad. And, uh, that means we went over the $1,000 threshold that we had kind of, well, not threshold, but, like, marker. Um, and we, um, me and Lendis both ate lemon wedges. the worst leg cramps in my life after doing 14 hours. Did you take any breaks or no? easily doubled congratulations you're doing absolutely fantastic thank you that probably gave new energy did anyone clip it already i think so used to have a dragon egg for you 
but instead I used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single rhinox in the tunnel. me again? No? Guess I'll just try it again. Usually it goes, ooh, that looked like it hurt. dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the rhinos. Good morning. Lunchbox. Nice to see you, Liberty. It is going good. It is going great, actually. We uh, we have raised over $1,100 for the Canadian Cancer Society. We got a $200 Ooh, donation from Lendis' dad this battle. morning. So we broke that $1,000 uh, $1, goal. We lose, we'll have to spend so we've doubled what our initial school. goal was. We're now at 227% of our goal. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Okay, good luck. boss battle right now so I can't very well look but oh my gosh thank you wow 
Holy crap. Your mom had cancer too? Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. A lot of people are going through it right now in my family um, and Lendis's family all together. Um, so it just felt right, you know? Yeah. It's it's sad that a lot of people have to go through cancer uh, in all its many, many forms. And, uh, you know, the Canadian Cancer Society, it's not just a one cancer kind of deal. It's a it's hundred plus different types of cancer that they're helping research. Oh, I hate it so much. Yeah, they help out with uh, a lot of different cancers, so I, I it was a good pick for for me personally. Uh, I wanted it to be the Canadian Cancer Society. Uh, my mom just finished going through breast cancer treatment. She finished her last radiation treatment on Tuesday, so we celebrated, and then I'm doing this uh, charity stream for her as well. Yeah, yeah, we were all glad to hear that. Um, I mean, we found out in, uh, well, she found out earlier than we did. Um, so she found out in July of 2020, I think. And she told us in August 2020. And then she started treatment in September. So it was a more aggressive type of cancer. Um, and they just went straight for it. They were like, you know what, let's get this over with and just get it done. And so she was feeling kind of weak, everything like that, that goes along with cancer treatments. And, uh, she did all the chemo and then they had, they did the mastectomy and then they, uh, did the radiation. What type did your mom have? If you don't mind me asking. Melanoma. I'm sorry. You know, that, that can't be easy. Yeah, melanin, skin. Oh, it's spread throughout her body.
so sorry to hear that, Liberty. It's making me want to cry. <laughs> it's too late. It's already happening. <laughs> Love to you too. Happy cats. <laughs> and we'll be getting new emotes soon, so we'll have even happier cats. The balloon's all ready, sir. Just jump on. Oh, I love Spyro, too. <laughs> Childhood game. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I tried to scare him off, your highness, but he's just not afraid of anything. Posture no, check, thank afraid. you. I'm awful at my posture. Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him! Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat! As long as you get rid of him! Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, this ought to do it. Yeah, when I saw posture check as one of the things that we could do, I was like, okay, let's make it a cheap one so then I can keep fixing my posture. Come <laughs> here. What the devil? First boss time. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This will hey, be Hey, Alex, will be no match for the two of us. I waited until the countdown for Sue, but Twitch wouldn't let me spend the snowflakes on that. Do it after the boss. Okay. Oh, what? You didn't go in? Alright, I'll stretch afterwards. Oh, 
Trumpy, you need coffee. I had a tea. Stretching time. Tea is better than coffee? Yes. I agree. Oh, my legs. Oh, my legs, my legs, my legs. Oh, happy stretches. Happy stretches. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to keep my legs stretched for a little bit. All out of tea. Well, I guess coffee will do. I would just uh, say no to the coffee. I don't like the smell. I don't like the taste. Bleh. <sighs> Decaf sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, coffee... If you have too much coffee in one day, it's not good for you. But it does uh, it does help some people with concentration and whatnot. No, stay here. Okay, dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you Help still can. Help some with his and such. I'm yeah, this Lendis, uh, good, you he, know. um, he used to work for Nespresso, so he got into the coffee game and now we've got a machine and all sorts of coffee and I hate the smell. I do not like the smell of coffee. Appreciate all the love you've been spreading on Twitch. Wishing you the best on this stream. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm very passionate about tea since I lived with a British family or two for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks and you're uh, very passionate about tea. That's okay. I love tea. gotten really into tea. Send me a cup. <laughs> yeah, but some people are also very sensitive to the amount of caffeine in, in uh, coffee and stuff. So I think it's all dependent on, like, every person's, like... God, I'm so bad with words. Um, tolerance. Yeah, an old friend of mine, uh, not friends anymore, but um, she, she used to drink coffee so much that she would get the jitters. And then, um, she just, like, was craving it all the time. And her mom had to cut her off. And that was in high school. Whoa, man. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Get off of the, get off the cannon. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. 
I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. I didn't destroy it. Sure. Liberty destroyed it. Destroy it. You destroyed that sub goal. When I worked in a hospital for a year long internship, it was the only tea drinker there, so hot water could be when I arrived in the morning. After not working there anymore, I arrived coffee in the morning, country can aim up? Oh, now I know. Even though most people love to forget them, but caffeine is still a drug. Yep. It is, because it's addictive. Oh, tell Parky I remember this level.
can see that one. No, they were showing off their bobbies. Bobbies. <laughs> I, I said to Clark, you know, we've known each other for a while. I'm ready to take the next step in our relationship, so here's my bobbies. What? <laughs> Spyro, behind this door is the single greatest show on earth. That's right. I oh, it's from sing. Candy. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. Macaulay, thanks for following. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. We've got our charity stream up and running. This is day three out of three. I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. Well, step right in. The show's about to start. So how are you doing today? Tonight is my big ice dance performance, and these hockey players are ruining it. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Someone courageous, strong, handsome, and purple, who breathes fire. Will you please help me perform my ice dance? These mean Rhinoc hockey players keep hogging the ice, and all I want to do is dance. Thanks. Let's go. instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? Kearney. Maybe you can be my ice dancing partner in the next Olympics. I used to hate doing that one. For some reason, it was harder when I was younger. 
have to hurry in myself. I'm one of the judges for tonight's performance. Okay. Lack of skill when you were younger? I guess so. Less dexterity. When I was younger, this uh, this game specifically, so the third one, um, I never actually got to beat the game because uh, of the anti-piracy measures. Where am I going? Oh my god. I just don't want to die. Thanatos, thanks for the follow. Good morning. Them like this. Okay, he went this way. Yeah. You can just keep going this way. I should be able to catch him. Oh, you went the other way. That's okay. There's a wall over here that I gotta break. What's the point of this game? Um, it's like a collect-a-thon kind of game. You go around collecting gems, you collect eggs, you collect everything. How do I leave? 
Oh, right here. Um, and you've got to save the world. So you're Spyro, and he's just a like a fledgling dragon, and uh, he he's saving the world right now. saving the world right now again yes again for the third time he is saving the world and it is on the switch that i'm playing right now but i've also platted it on playstation 4 so in this uh in this one he's uh his goal is to save all the dragon eggs and there's well over a hundred and something of them. Oh, you shot the ice block, eh? for the gondola to come back. Can't stay in chat, but I'm here. Oh, thanks, McNall. You helped us get to the $1,135 we're at right now. One thousand one hundred and thirty five dollars.
means a lot, everybody. Thank you. Oh, no problem. You're welcome for the entertainment. It was entertaining for me, too. I mean, I got to see my husband eat a lemon and a uh, warhead. Well, he didn't eat the warhead, but he, uh, he licked it. I hope we're able to finish this game today. <laughs> we're already two and a half hours in and uh, we're in the second world. I'd say so. Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it? And you've picked up a rock. Enchanted Towers. Now, before we go to Enchanted Towers, I actually want to unlock the next playable character. Um, but I'm going to collect the gems that are surrounding him first. Because I don't want to forget them. Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. Ha <laughs> ha! What a sucker! Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done. And... Uh, well, what? So forth, etc. You get what the idea. Sucker. Yeah, what a sucker! What a fool! <laughs> uh. Sergeant Bird, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Um, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. BBX 9 rocket launchers, state of the art. So, why didn't you use them to escape? Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it for this. 
Say, where do you come from? Oh, this. I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly. Oh, the Cazadors are the worst. Well, if I love New Vegas, want, though. A remake would be amazing. I, I would 100% play that. Um, and I love I love Fallout <laughs> so much. Okay, let's go to Sergeant Bird's place so we can unlock him. Dulcie, if you want to eat, just eat. Stop staring at your bowl like it's empty. She's looking at it like it's the saddest thing in the world. It's because that giant hole in the middle. It's it's the giant hole in the middle, yeah. Oh, there we I go. She's decided to eat. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceries. Sir, the situation is this. Yesterday at 1845 hours, the Rhinox invaded. We defended as best we could, sir. But without your leadership, we couldn't put up an effective resistance. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured, and the Rhinox had complete control of the base. There we go. I was like, why is the button not working? So, with Sergeant Bird, you actually get to control his rockets, and you can fly. They won't march far on empty stomachs. <laughs> Sir, the Rhinox have blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. I recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure-sensitive security switches on either side of the door. When in position, press the charge button to drop the weight. Press the action button once to look down, and press it again to look up, sir. I always found this level fun because you actually fly around. 
Whereas uh, when you're playing as Spyro, you can you can fly, but it's more like a flutter. Uh, I mean, Microsoft still annoys me that they probably make some very interesting games. Game Pass platform. Oh, Obsidian. I didn't even read what my husband put. Yeah. Wasted a bomb. I should have saved it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. It's great to have your back, sir.
Okay. Sorry for me being quiet. I'm just really focused and I'm I'm really tired. I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. There we go. Run, penguin, run. There, we have them unlocked. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. That's it. problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. <laughs> Would you like me to show you? Uh... Out of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? <laughs> I'll deal with you later. 
Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? I do have to say, in this third game, the worlds that they've made, they're all fantastic. And I don't have a favorite. Can you see ladders or walls? Yeah, I know. Actually, I think Crash Bandicoot was the PlayStation mascot. But, like, in terms of which one I like better, Spyro. <laughs> I was mean. I thought I was a goner. Thanks for saving Hello? me. Hello? Oh! <laughs> Party with yeah, the, the raid! Woohoo! Woohoo! Nostalgia weekend! Yes! We're on the third game now. And this level is so dark. <laughs> you wanted nostalgia, you're you're in for a treat. Cause this is where this is where it's at. I mean, me and Parky playing them nostalgia games. Ow! You. So this is a charity stream, um, and we are raising funds for the Canadian Cancer Society. Um, and we had a goal of five hundred dollars. We have crushed that. We then had a second goal of a thousand dollars. We crushed that. So now we are aiming for the sky. I mean, we're going as far as we can go by the end of today. And for every one hundred dollars that we raise, um, I will eat a lemon wedge. And it's not fun. And my teeth feel fi funny because I have eaten ten lemon wedges now. It was supposed to be me eating a lemon wedge and some sour candy, but my sister and her boyfriend picked up Warheads, the extra, um, extra sour, extreme sour ones, and I can't, I, I just can't. They destroyed my tongue. Lick a lemon! Lick a lemon, okay. Here's a juicy one. Juicy, juicy lemon. Licking it. Here we go. Oh, it's running down my tongue. Mmm, the juices.
I can still taste it. Okay. I hear there's so many bobs. <laughs> Showing off my bobs. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A palette of bobs. your check thank you hydrate yourself girl thank you oh that actually washes down like the lemony taste that was still in my mouth shut only the power of gems can hope to move it oh i'm it. sure only the power of gems You've can hope to move it choice it will money be money grubbin bear and more gems for me best of all spyro i can stop speaking haiku what a sweet relief stretch your legs woo Moneybag stops. <laughs> like, in a world in which he lives, is being overruled, and he's like, I'm gonna make a profit off of it instead. my muscles just like oh aching hardly see anything it's so dark you getting a lot of glare right now yeah i think i'm getting a lot of glare i can't tell where i'm supposed to go thank you oh i fell Oh, I fell. Join you. I brought the guac. Brought the guac. <sighs> Looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> Not looking so green anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's it's what happens when the air gets to it. Should be. You want to taste it? Yeah. Give it a try. Dulcy. Mm. 
I see green underneath. Yeah, it's because what got to the air. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Yeah, it tastes like water. Citrusy guac, man. Yeah, Parky surprise cat. Whole family's here. First time you see my beautiful face, and I'm stuffing it. Trees are fragrant. Good first impression, right? Thank you for calling me beautiful, though. I do appreciate it. <laughs> At least one of us thinks so. <laughs> you think I don't think you're beautiful? No. You weren't included in that equation. I'm not beautiful? Oh my god. We must destroy the egg cage. That's not what I'm we just I don't know. understand. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. Will yes, she help she us? Exactly. Yes, my awesome Christmas sweater. Which is yes, currently hanging on the back of the chair. Time. Here I come. Abort, to abort. <laughs> Every dojo member is beautiful. Stop talking about this in their own way. Oh, in their own way. That's the worst way to end that. <laughs> At least the chips have a hint of lime. Yes, it's fun. But yeah, definitely like, don't squeeze half a lemon into it next time. Meh. I mean, Tris, she already keeps me chained to the desk every night. I don't know how much deeper into the into the dark house I can go. <laughs> no, Parky, the... She already... Okay, so she already... She, she squeezed, uh, like, half of a lemon. Half of a frigging lemon into this... Into this guacamole. And, uh... It tastes very lemony. I like those pants. <laughs> what? What the <laughs> hell? That's your chip, man! He just ate... It flew right off to my arm. The gauge remains. Will you now help my brother to freeze the last egg? I like those pants. It'd be a shame if somebody booked a flight to Canada to steal them. Wait, are you talking about my pants? <laughs> I am usually like wearing that, pants uh, the like these poor, poor captive eggs. at least seven days of the week. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs. To free you at last. At least seven days of the week and at least 24 hours of the day. Can confirm I usually don't wear anything else. He's not even going on the path. Ow! I went bo Yes, it's... Anybody else eating anything right now? What y'all snacking on? <laughs> Parky, this is a rare occasion where I, I do not have my again. bobs out. Mushrooms <laughs> must be stopped. And it is because my hands are occupied eating these delicious chips.
I like the extra zestiness of the, with the lime. Mm. Good. I think I saw um, Foamy saying in Parky's chat that she wanted to get food. What are you eating, Foamy? Yes, it's bo Didn't you say you went to get breakfast or something? Yeah, it was actually just Starbucks. <laughs> hey, Starbucks is good. Yeah, Starbucks makes uh, good breakfast. Two dragons are born today. Sheila's my hero. I had it a few times when uh, when I used to work in a local mall around here. It was pretty convenient because they had free delivery for people in the mall, so I could just order it, then bring it to my store. And, uh, yeah. Oh, you, you didn't get food, you just got a drink? I like the vanilla bean frappuccinos. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Sour? I got a lemony part. <laughs> That's like a free lick of lemon right there. Ugh. does explicitly say that it's dairy free right and uh dairy is uh dairy is what does the whip and what does the cream so what's left well, i guess you already answered that what's left plastic <laughs> Willingly ask for shaving foam on your coffee, then. <laughs> yeah, I prefer aftershave myself. I can just feed you. Yeah. Brady feeds me all the time. I'm so, uh, lazy. 
Oh, you said it, my dear. Not me. I know I'm lazy. Can't have the real stuff, I explode. We have a close friend like that, actually. She's, um... She's in the dojo. Yeah, yeah, she's in the dojo. Her name is Music. Uh, she's also one of the mods on the lit. stream. Now I'll tell you the secret. Uh, yeah, we are always constantly telling her, Girl, you gotta take your lactate. And what does she forget to do? She forgets to a take her lactate. Leaves in a sword to destroy. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. That they're using you. And it always comes back to hurt her. Is that the whole thing? Alright. There you go. I am going to go and get the pinwheels. I'll be back. I have a nice bag of Tostitos in my boat. night it's not the lactose for me i'm allergic to the milk protein in any animal milk so i get gassy just really i don't get gassy just really really sick oh that sucks i'm gonna go this way because i need to get that oh yes not that way i need to go that way You want a pinwheel? Grab my hand because I was coming fast. <laughs> Need to get the chest. That is awful. Sorry to hear that, Pony. less sucky if I didn't love cheese so much. I don't know anyone who doesn't love cheese. Even vegans, I think one of the first things vegans were like, man, we have, we have to make our own uh, animal byproduct free food. What are we going to make? Cheese. here uh, are all the ones that are left just uh, they have three in them mm. yeah those are, those are yours but you don't like them right the roast beef one uh not exactly I'm, i'll try it again but Although I'm, I'm pretty picky as far as, uh, oh man, Daniel, give me some guff. I'm kind of picky as far as the uh, cheeses that I like. Pretty much limited to cheddar and mozzarella. I don't know how vegans do it. Like, eating cheese makes me physically ill, but I'll still eat it. They manage to do it out of choice. Serious willpower. <laughs> Sneeze. 
<laughs> yeah, that was a big one. This looks like you can break it. Hmm, guess not. Um, oh, I know. I have to. I have to break them or something else. Yeah. So uh, I have no problem at all with vegan too. Um, I think it's great that they want to save animals' lives. That's awesome. I'm glad that they believe in that. Um, I do have a problem with vegans who try to shove it in other people's faces that they're doing the wrong thing by eating animals. A, flame power -up. a find more just like vegan food is expensive. All the okay, not everyone can make that choice. B, not everyone wants to make, wants to make that choice, right? Some people just really, really, really like eating animals. And as humans, animals ourselves, it's our God-given right. We're omnivores. We eat, we eat plants and we eat animals. That's how it is. Um, we've got no problem with finding alternatives. In fact, I am a big fan of the Beyond Meat Burgers, or the, the Beyond Beef Burgers. They're fantastic. They taste like the real thing. It's awesome. Um, but, like, I, I think I was telling Parky about it, how I used to work next to a, uh, <clears throat> a meat plant, mm -hmm. and there's a truck that would drive in there every single day, carrying cows, carrying pigs, carrying chickens, whatever. <laughs> it was a pig factory. No, I, I think it, it was pyramids, so it did it, no? No, they just, just do pigs? pigs. Okay, well, just pigs, but anyways, pretty much every single day. If not every single day, there was protesters there getting in the way of the trucks, being a pain in the, being a pain in the butt. I had to catch myself there. Um, and there was one one time. I think it was last year. It pre, was recently. I think I think it was last year, pre-pandemic. Uh, one of them got hit by a truck. No, it was wasn't it during the pandemic? It was either pre-pandemic or just after the pandemic started. One of them got hit by a truck. Why did they get hit by a truck? Because they jumped in front of the truck. The person was just trying to do their job. They ran the protester over because they stepped over the boundaries. I forget who got in trouble, but like, again, <clears throat> like, don't inconvenience others with your views. It's no reason to do it. Yeah, they died. They died? They oh, died. I forgot about that. I, I don't remember that, but even so. That's it's awful, but they stepped in front of the truck. Um, <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, I gotta. That was a bit of rant. I gotta. I gotta catch up on chat here. Yeah, 100%. You step in front of a truck as human, you you lose that fight every time. You do. Yep. Um, My dad's a truck driver. Oh, he's got some stories. He was like, <clears throat> I should start a Twitch and be like, truck driving with Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, follow me. 100%. Um, air pollution from um, food transportation. Stream Euro Truck. You should stream Euro Truck. <laughs> um, yeah, air pollution from from food transportation from people flying food around the world. It's that's the worst, probably the worst way. It's either that or by boat. Those two are the worst ways to transport food. Best way, absolutely most eco-friendly way that you can is generally by train. <clears throat> Alright, let me try another one of these pins here. Are these cows holding up signs that say, Don't eat cows? Are they actually? I think they they have signs that have like no to a cow on it. 
Well, that's topical. <laughs> <laughs> some pinwheels in here that were roast beef and urban garlic cream cheese and those were fantastic but brie cheese is a little bit too cheese <clears throat> and a sharpness that i don't quite like uh, as you can see though the cows stand on platforms out in the ocean not in front of trucks <laughs> Even cows know not to take on a truck. That is not always true, Foamy. And when it is, it's free hamburgers for everybody. <laughs> Protesting done right, yeah, for sure. Shooting missiles. Spyro's got a gun. <laughs> so like, how does it work? Does he have like a, a missile launcher in his mouth or something? Yeah, something like Robo, that. Robo Spyro. No, no, no. He picks them up while he's flying. Okay. To be fair, I once saw a truck get a sheep. Can't imagine that's a whole cow would make. Um, you know, thing is, a cow is a lot heavier than a sheep. It would probably be a. Oh, nice... it would make a really big dent. Yeah, My nice. dad has hit deer before, and. Uh, that was enough to, to mess it up. Yeah, deer can be a big problem here in Canada, especially in the sticks. I missed that second one. I don't think I'm gonna come in first. Sleep well tonight. I hope. I hope anyways. I have work tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, I don't even see the first place person. Oh, I missed it! Oh! Detrimental. Totally detrimental, bruh. What's everyone doing on their Sunday right now, yeah? Besides uh, talking about 
protesters and hitting cows on the road and all this and that. Oh, lovely oh, conversation. Too far. All lovely conversations to have on a charity stream, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Mining? You playing Minecraft for me? Ooh, Minecraft! Oh, Karki beat, uh... I saw! Karki beat it, by the way. I saw that you, uh, beat Crash. Okay, there's more some mob farm. I think I saw you utilizing that as a mod stream. While you were playing with them? Yeah, I was I was using some of the mod farm. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna build this over right. Where are you building a castle? I hope it's a castle fit for a queen. visit your castle. TNT. Uh, I think that's Kelso's thing. He's he's the uh, the demolitionist around the server. Oh or, yeah. No, that's not. Uh, Pe are people going around blowing up people's houses? Because that's not cool. There's a sign outside my house that says, "Please don't hurt it." I was being very nice. Or uh, are Felix and Kelso are playing on the console? I think they're playing on the console. Okay. That's a, that's a separate thing. <coughs> Can you ever actually like blow up any of them? No. Man, this game, or not this game, the, the thought of blowing up planes, it reminds me of a, uh, brings me some nostalgia. There was a game on the PS2. I think it was made by, uh, 3DO called yeah when 3DO was still a company called uh, War Jets same uh, same company that made like battle tanks and all those those games some fond memories specifically there was a plane that you would unlock defeating the campaign it was like the the final boss that you unlock um, their bombs were like mini nukes. Many, many hours uh, wasted on that game. Just blowing up things. Oh, I missed it again! Oh my god! Trash! Oh, here's a snoring cat. I hear a snoring cat too. Just to put it into perspective how loudly the cat can snore sometimes. I can usually hear it through my headphones when I'm at work. It's impressive. I would love to be able to try and like, get it on mic, but I know she would wake up the moment that I get up in the bed. So I can't do that. I think it's like a, a holdover from when she lived with her previous owners, because we, we did adopt her. Um, it seems like she always sleeps with like one eye open, pretty much. She's always very alert. Nice. 
Eh. <clears throat> I'll bring the TNT for everyone. We shall have a detonation party. Oh god. Just let me know if you want me to put this away. Put what away? <laughs> the food? I want food. I like food. I am eating something still, sir. You can eat two things at once. No, I cannot. Okay, I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I can On eat the it server, now. that is. I'm excited for dinner tonight. Meatballs and gravy! Oh yeah, we have homemade meatballs. Where's your phone? Right here. I don't want any more of these. They're not my favorite. Apologies, chat. I know uh, you might find the energy a little bit lower today. Um, <clears throat> has been a bit of a long haul doing this. And uh, I know, I know, we probably should have hopped in bed like. Straight away, like we shortly after we finished our stream last night, but for the whirly gig to take you to we, we were up until midnight. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no <laughs> reasoning with them. Not very smart. But, so. Doing some stream hopping and dropping some support around and stuff like that. <clears throat> What's everybody planning on doing today? Anybody streaming? I know, Parky, you already streamed for you doing it again. Maybe Minecraft. Yeah, I think I'm switching up my um, my Tuesdays and Wednesdays to be Minecraft. Because I was doing um, 
persona but it wasn't getting a lot of like reaction like nobody was really interested in it so i don't mind because it's not that big a deal and i love minecraft so She just grabbed the, she grabbed the camera and pulled it towards herself. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at the butt belly. Your average went down yesterday? You saying that? Yeah. Average went down. That's not right. You've consistently had like at least four or five people in your chat. We need more. Definitely need more. But your average shouldn't be going down. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Liberty. <laughs> I'm turn. I want to return the camera to, to the game. I'm going to give up your attention and say bye. of our appreciation. Sometimes, Sparky, I feel like uh, Twitch just has a bunch of wizards working in the background to actively try and keep things lower than they actually are. Like, uh, your account, it seems, is incorrect a lot of the time, but, uh, you know. Yeah, I've been noticing that. Like, a lot of the times, um, when we're doing a push for the dojo, as an example, it'll be... I'll use yesterday as an example. It'll be 24 one minute, and then all of a sudden I see the viewer kind of go all the way down to 14. Like, what? I... There's no way that's just a bunch of people just up and leaving. Because they've tuned in, why would they leave? So, I don't know. Damn Twitch wizards. I want to drop another shout out, a verbal shout out this time, just because I'm on the on the bed with Janella. But um, I want to drop another shout out to Liberty Kitty for dropping ten gifted subs today. Crazy. That is bonkers. We've already smashed the the weekly sub goal, and it's still Sunday. So thank you again, Liberty. Yes. I'll put a shout out in the chat for you shortly. Just gotta feed Janella some guac on a chip.
imagine that there is a lot of people in chat that are already following her and or subscribed to her, but if you are not, go to her channel, drop her a follow, maybe a sub, whatever you what? can do. I hit him! I hit him! Do you? Did you see that? I hit him! No, because that was suggested for something, but maybe chat did. Yep, drop a follow, drop a sub, drop some support for this wonderful, wonderful woman. Thanks, hon. You too. <laughs> I thought I was getting the rest of the chip. No. It's a big chip. Gotta give you more block. She's sniffing close to my foot and it it tickles. Smell those tin wheels. Come here. Come here. Give the chat a free cat can again. Oh okay. <laughs> Just about sat on the laptop. I'm sure you would succeed if you were to try again. Please yeah, you know what, Parky? Please I was thinking that exact same thing. It's like, the first Spyro didn't have all that many minigames, right? And the second one, it was almost like a testing ground for minigames. They must have seen that that worked in the second one, because the second one must have been pretty popular. They were like, oh, let's load the third one up with minigames. Um, I think it bogs down the gameplay a little bit. Minigames are, are fun, sure, but... Uh, but I want more, like, world creation kind of thing going on. You want more exploration. Exploration. Um, kind of similar to... Yeah. Kind of similar to... Um, what is it? Kind of similar to the second Spyro game. I do really like how the first Jack and Daxter game had a pretty good balance of uh, puzzle platforming, uh, combat, and, uh, and minigames. Although, uh, you mentioned the fish minigame the other day from Jack and Daxter in chat. I hate that minigame. I hate it. It's awful. Absolutely awful. I spent hours on that in the chat. Yeah, number one is the best for me, and then, um, and then I like the third one the the best. I don't really like the second one all that much. I mean, I like, I like it, but it's not my favorite. It seems too short, in my opinion. And is it like a uh, you like the aesthetic of the third game better? Like, yeah, like, like the aesthetically, theming? I like the theming and everything like that. Um, but the second one, I don't know. I just don't get the same kind of vibes from it. Hmm. 
Yeah, the first uh, Jack and Daxter is the only one that I like. I've watched um, the other ones, and they changed everything, and I wasn't a fan. I think the first Jack and Daxter does what it does best, but it was... They almost changed up the aesthetic and premise of the game so much with the second one that it was almost a genre shift. Um, if, it, if it didn't still stick to the same beats of action and adventure and uh, puzzles and all that, it would have almost been a genre shift. However, um, I will say that Jack 2 is my favorite in the series because of how it approached the game in the series from a little bit more of an adult perspective. Mm. Um, and I think I mentioned in chat yesterday, like, the, the day that I rented Jack 2 we and popped it into my PS2, rented it from really Blockbuster, it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I popped it into my PS2, and I got you get the intro cutscene of Daxter rescuing Jack, uh, Jack going dark Jack for just a moment, because he's like trying to maintain control of himself, and then he talks. I was like, this character was pretty much mute hmm. for the first game, and now he has a voice, and it sounds badass. He's awesome. Um, as well, I know that it contributed to the big change in, in uh, style for the game, but I really like the addition of the uh, the mod gun. Uh, the scatter gun was pretty fun. I love the uh, the Vulcan minigun. <laughs> I loved using that. And uh, unlocking the Peacemaker towards the end of the game was just a lot of fun. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue Third one's a little bit different. Um, third it, one doesn't it was too sit ugly. the best for everybody, huh. just because it's, me, the statue it's is like, far um, prettier than she is. not just a, a shift in genre from the first one, but it's a huge locale shift as well. You go from lush green forests, and even um, the, the city has some lush areas as well, to desert. Desert and temples. Some people find the desert very, very dreary, and it's not for everybody. And there's a lot of uh, traveling in the third one as well, a lot of traversal uh, takes place with your vehicle, your, your dune buggy. That's not a beat that everyone enjoys. Uh, a lot of people just like uh, short, focused story uh, sections with exploration and stuff like that, and I get that. That's cool. Jack series that's like one of the MVPs for me, one of, one of the best uh, series on the PS2. PS2, what was my favorite game on the PS2? I had too many favorites to claim an absolute favorite. I don't know. Like, I I only played the PlayStation 1 for the longest time. I'd have to look through my collection. Our collection at this point. Is it safe to say it's Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. Let me tell you, chat. This woman loves Disney. Oh, yeah. This woman loves Disney. And she loves fantasy, aesthetic, fantasy aesthetic. So, what do I do for one of her birthdays? I go and I buy her Kingdom Hearts because she had never heard of it before. Uh, immediately loved it. Immediately loved it. Almost immediately got stuck on it. <laughs> she she made it. I think Tarzan is the second Tarzan. world. Tarzan. I think Tarzan is the second world. She got stuck in Tarzan's jungle. And left that game for about five years. <laughs> Until... Was it the pandemic? Until... No, 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 no. I left it for a little bit. And then I came back to the game. Got stuck in Tarzan again. And was like, okay, hey, forget this. And then left. Uh, and then we came back to it again. And I got further. But, but I left. <laughs> 
But we did beat it the next time that we, we got to yeah. it, which was... Was it the pandemic, or was it before that? Uh, before. Yeah. It's hard to remember, right? Like, it's, it seems like my, my memory is just filled with... Pandemic. Pandemic, and all of the time that we spent on, um, not doing much. Uh, and, and it's hard to remember what exactly took place, like, the year or, or two before that. But... Anyways, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Um, I am almost ready to reveal that was my a big one for you. You were, I, I was, I was happy for you. You were ecstatic to finally beat that game, though. Um, I had to do the Coliseum for her. Kingdom Hearts 2. I had Kingdom Hearts 3 on PS4, but haven't went back and completed. I was heading to Frozen World. How did you like Kingdom Hearts 3? We still have yet to do 2 because uh, she's I'm still working on it. By still we working, started. It. You, you started we it. We stopped in Mulan. You spent like, uh, okay. Well, it was a, it has a long introductory set uh, segment, but you spent like five minutes in the segment after the introduction. And then you were like, eh. But yeah, so she still has to be Kingdom Hearts two. What do you think of three? gorgeous I was playing on the big HD TV in the living room and it's like watching a Disney movie so crisp oh yeah um haven't seen much of the game outside of the promotional material leading up to its release and it did get a lot of promotional material especially in my local game store um seemed like the commercial was playing every time I went in there uh and the uh I don't know what you call them, the special moves, the, the partner moves that you do with like the, the characters from the current world that you're in. They looked crazy. Like, the game looked like it was directly animated by Pixar. Looked awesome. Um, Can't find the last uh, explosive. I do look forward to the to the day when we do go back to Kingdom Hearts 2. Maybe we make that a thing that we do on stream. It is a long game, but... Yeah. But... I mean, maybe that'll be a, like... Yeah. yeah. Distant thing. It would be further down the line. Um, Where's this last rocket? If we do go back to playing a story game anytime soon, I don't think it's going to be Persona 5 Strikers, just because the, the audience on that has been a little low. Um, and, quite frankly, I want to play it. <laughs> I've been holding back on playing it because uh, she has a lot of off time in between her work, uh, and I don't want to spoil her, but I want to play it. Um, and... Secondly, also, I think that the next story-based game that we would play, if we do play one, would be Fallout 4. Yeah. I'd love for it to be New Vegas, but our copy of New Vegas is currently lost in storage, so... Womp womp. No, the PlayStation 3 is lost in storage. Right, yes. Actually, yeah, do we have a copy of New Vegas? I yeah. Think? Oh, okay. yeah, no, the, yeah, no, sorry. The entire PS3 is lost in storage somewhere. <laughs> we pretty much put that PS3 together ourselves too. It's like it's a Franken PS3. Um, we bought the initial PS3 used, and uh, isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, and, you could really uh, rack up a huge score in this place. On it. What do you say I show you some moves? But I think the issue was that the disc Let's drive was working. Easy. So I actually took the, the disc drive out of it. I was gonna I'll say, Foley, we once. got more skateboarding! Oh, yeah, more skateboarding. Um, so it was a project between the two of us. We took the disc drive out of an entirely different model of the PS3. Stuck it in there. Okay. And hey, now it worked. Doing a roll. So, you can roll in definitely want to find that. That was a time in bed. Steering left or right with the left stick. Nice. 
Nice roll. Now let's see you pull a flip. Flips are exactly like rolls, only you push forward or back on the left stick instead of left or right. Just jump off the ramp, hold down the action button, and press forward or back. Yeah, in the third game, uh, the skateboarding, they've made it a lot more advanced. So you can do side rolls rather than just doing like a 360 around. Natural. Now let's see if you can pull off a half pipe spin move. The blue ramps are half pipes. You can do a spin move by jumping at the top the of the blue ramp, ramp the then crash steering crash left or master. right in the air. Um, I think it was crash. Or did they come at the same time? They didn't come at the exact same time, but... I think it was crash. Chat, do you remember which one came out first? The crash or master or the spiral remaster? Crash is first. Wow. So they must have learned their lesson from, because uh, I, I believe it was the same studio, All correct right, me if I'm wrong, they must have learned their lesson you can do from a how as much uh, as you can. Crash handled Spin. their remaster, and uh, so they, different studios, okay, thank you, Parky. Um, either way, maybe they took, maybe they took notes from uh, the Spiral remaster, or the Crash remaster, because I remember... Now there's a, I was talking to Fomi about this, there's a British YouTuber that I watch, his name is Kadigaris, he's a huge, cocky, huge, uh, Spyro fan, on the giant ski ramp. or, Do well, Spyro and, yeah. and, and uh, you can get. <laughs> he was absolutely livid that they changed the physics mechanics for the game across all three games, so that they were the same, when the first one or maybe two games weren't designed with those physics in mind. So there was jumps in the first or second game, or both, I don't remember, that were so much harder to make than they had to be because of the adjusted physics. So it's a lot better that, uh, I I'm thinking the Spyro team must have taken note of that and kept the, uh, the mechanics the same. Why can't I go same. off the edge? There we go. Wow, yeah, it's, it's really a good thing that fast. they kept the mechanics the so same for all three games. Being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing this nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. I had just the about pulled it off when suddenly I ran what smack a into this dragon call back for two days and wiped ago. out. Okay, I made that up. Okay, was it just a hitbox issue? I I think I remember him talking about how it was like a momentum one issue. On well. one. Wanna try a freestyle competition for points? Alright, whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. Oh, I fell. That would have been sick. Uh, so, yeah, so it was a, a hitbox issue and a momentum issue. Um, yeah, I, disclosure, I might have been a PlayStation kid, but I only played Warped, uh, and I didn't play any of the Spyro games. Why can't I land? Sorry. I didn't play any of the Spyro games just because they weren't really my thing. Um, but, yeah, I did hear from him that there was big issues with the way that they like backported the momentum and, uh, and the model. I'm gonna lose because I can't land. It's because I'm talking to from Maybe you just landed it so maybe I should just shut up. <laughs> I don't think the flames do much. They might not do much, but hey, they look pretty cool. Hey, Liberty! How you doing? What are you up to right now, eh? Also, yes, I know I just said A. I am Canadian. 
Yes, I do say A. Sometimes. I do say a boot. Occasionally. Oh, I didn't land. I still I won. I can't believe it. How did you get so good already? Who knows? Oh, Maybe she lurked in. break my course record. <laughs> mm. Nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was gonna keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. Hunter, we are actively trying to collect those eggs. Exactly. <laughs> I don't you... understand why he's hiding them from me. Why are you holding on to them? You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck! How are you doing that, Hunter? You doing okay? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Alright, chat, gonna run this down the bridge, I'll be right back. First record is 10,000? Okay, here we go. Haha, uh -huh. the skate arena is giving me Rayman 3 shoe driving vibes. I think I said previously, uh, I was, uh. I was not into Rayman. I didn't like it. It's aesthetic. And, uh, just wasn't a fan. Um, so you have to explain that shoe driving thing. Like, were you drive, like, you were driving a shoe? Much like she is driving a skateboard? That's a unique sounding minigame. Um, but, yeah. 
Well, Rayman's not really my thing. Um, I know that Janela tried one of the games. Don't know which one. Don't know what she thought of it. It was the one that they released. Okay, you know what? Give up. Give up. Start over. Get some PJ salts in the chat. series from the PlayStation 1 and 2 eras. I absolutely adored the very first Spider-Man game for the PlayStation, as well as the second one, Enter Electro. For the PlayStation 1, not the two, not the second one, not the, the movie tie-in games. Those ones were great, like they were based off of the same systems, but they didn't have the same kind of charm to them, because they were movie-based games. Um, yeah, and you know what? The, the boss of the first Spider-Man game? Oh, I'm, get, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Really liked the, uh, in the first Spider-Man game, the, uh, scene where you have to make it to, or the, the level where you have to make it to the Daily Bugle to save uh, J, J. Jonah Jameson from the Scorpion. That was fun. Um, like the boss fight with the... <laughs> like the boss fight with the Rhino. Um, big, big fan of the voice and characterization that they used for... Okay. Big, big... <laughs> Big, big fan of the voice and characterization that they used for Venom in that game. He is hilarious. And, uh, the, the final boss, I guess you could say, final level is like a, a chase with, uh, Dr. Octopus who has been taken over by the Carnage symbiote, which is terrifying. But... Oh my god, it's a fantastic game. The second one, Enter Electro, is great in its own right. Not quite as good as the first one, but pretty great. Um, and yeah, the ones on the PS2 were pretty solid as well. Just didn't have the same charm. Anyone else play those Spider-Man games? Like, Spider-Man was wildly popular in the... In the 90s and early 2000s, I can't imagine that there's no one in chat who has not played the Spider-Man games. I have not played the Spider-Man games. Yes, but you also only played the games that were burned for you. Yep. Lara Croft. There we go! I've done it! Bugs Life. I don't even care that I fell over. <laughs> um... What else did I play? Small soldiers. <laughs> I don't care that I'm falling anymore. I beat the 10,000. Okay, this is just making me mad. I've fallen over a few times now. Oh, okay. Uh, you mean, Park, you mean like the, the model that Spider-Man 2 used for... Um, it's open world for its open world and its activities it kind of kicked off the formula for open world games or do you mean like just for the Spider-Man games because I, I can see that first two Spider-Man games on the PS1 weren't uh, 
open world, they were level based, but um, it's kind of like what I was talking about earlier with short focused story experiences as opposed to an open world. definitely contribute a lot to the template for open world games. I will agree on that. Um, and a lot of people swear... I don't know if it was in the second one or the third one. A lot of people have very fond memories of the Pizza Time uh, minigame. And the associated song. When I think the Spider-Man 3 game, all I can think of is the cutscene... Uh, when you fail the QTE in the opening, when Spider-Man goes to uh, rescue the lady that's in the burning building with the bomb, and he just... He jumps, and he falls flat on his face and just, like, dies, and then the <laughs> camera pans to the lady, and she's just like, Oh no! And, then <laughs> just... and the building just explodes. Oh man, it's hilarious. Oh no, she, she says like, oh, I'm gonna die, or something like that. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Uh, it's not meant to be comedic, I don't think, but, uh, my god. like um, open world story based save the world kind of uh, games oh go. no oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I did also have a Nintendo 64 as a kid not just uh, my, my first Sony product was actually the PlayStation 2 not the PlayStation so I was a Nintendo kid before that um, so I spent a lot of time playing Ocarina of Time or Ocarina of Time depending on where you're from and By the way, this is a cat that's right here. I know it looks a little awkward. Yep. Yep, there is a cat booty here. There's a cat getting some pets. Um... <laughs> hey, Alex. Um, yeah, I was a Nintendo kid before I was a PlayStation kid. I do still enjoy both. Uh, and I spent a lot of time in Upper Net Time, and I spent even more time in Majora's Mask. Huge, huge fan of Majora's Mask. A lot of people have mixed feelings about it, but I think the mask mechanic was absolutely I was executed catch amazing. With my pet I never played Farley, any of the Zelda games. But I accidentally right? threw his you played a link to the past. I played a link to the past a little bit on now the SNES. Down there, and I feel so helpless. This might be something here, to listening to his steadily softening yeah. uh, Ocarina and Majora's Mask are both fantastic, and I hope that they get ported to the Switch at some point, in some way, shape, or form. I know uh, Aonuma and his team are hard, hard, hard at work on Breath of the Wild 2, which uh, we're going to be playing that. Um, and so they have they've released Skyward Sword HD. I think that's the HD port that nobody asked for. But, uh, hey, it's happening. Are we gonna play it? Eh, probably not. The, uh, the motion controls, I'm glad that they have apparently reworked them for the Switch, but, uh, they were... I I've watched my friend do a, uh, a 24-hour, roughly, playthrough of that game in one sitting, and the motion controls, uh, ooh, not great. Not fantastic. The, uh, the Zelda game that I actually have the fondest memories of, oh, 
Well done, that's fun to say. We did Ocarina on the 3DS, and I couldn't play in 3D. Uh, you know, Chloe, the 3D on the 3DS is like the one feature that, it's the 3DS was named for that, but I literally don't think anyone ever used it. <laughs> Uh, the 3D was, like, it's because, uh, they had their own kind of, like, method for the 3D. It wasn't like you're wearing 3D glasses or anything. Um, the way that they rendered the 3D was just off-putting. Made you feel, like, motion sick and just not great. So, I don't blame you for that. Remake on the 3DS was great though. Uh, my only complaint is, oh my god, the analog stick on the 3DS. I gotta pee. Okay. All right. She's gotta pee. She's she's running. She's gotta pee. I've been left alone with you, Chad. Please, go easy on me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the the analog stick on the 3DS, not great, not great, too nubby, too nubby, too slidey, like approximately a, a 2 out of 10. If I was able to play that game with a proper controller, I would love it, but uh, the, the N64 version gets a higher score just for that. Yeah, my... I didn't play very many of the retro Zeldas, just because, um... I don't think that we had a copy of The Legend of Zelda, the first one, or, uh... What was it? Link's Adventure, the second one for the NES. We did have an NES, we didn't own those ones. Um, and we didn't have an SNES. So... I didn't play any of the ones on Super Nintendo. But my fondest memory of a retro Zelda game has to be for the ones on the Game Boy Color. Which are uh, the Oracle of Seasons and the Oracle of Awakening. Is the Oracle of Awakening? Oh, jeez. I think it was the Oracle of Awakening. Man, no it wasn't the Oracle of Awakening. Uh oh. The Oracle of Seasons and the Oracle of... Uh oh, I'm having a brain fart. Oracle of Ages, that's the one. Uh, the Oracle of Seasons and the Oracle of Ages. Me and my cousin both respectively owned, uh, one of us owned the Seasons, one of us owned the Awakening. So, uh, the cool thing about that game is they each had their own ex exclusive storyline, so it wasn't like you were just playing, like, I'll use a Pokemon as an example. Um, it's cool that they had different versions, but the story beats, for the most part, are the same. Um... For Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages, they were two separate games entirely. Separate dungeons, separate bosses, separate worlds. Uh, and the cool thing about them is that they had a link functionality. You didn't use a link cable for it, but uh, when you uh, interacted with certain NPCs in the game, or beat, cer beat certain things in the game, you would get a code that you would give to somebody playing the opposite version of the game to unlock them. Uh, for example, after you completed the big trading quest to, like, upgrade your sword to level you? 2, I mean, um, I could you would get a code. And if you gave that code to somebody in the other game who already had a level 2 sword, it would upgrade oh, well, their sword to the level the 3 sword. Count, right? Or, uh, ba basically the master sword. Um, and the coolest thing was their... Uh, using using that that code functionality, you could actually unlock an entirely like bonus dungeon, like a, a bonus final dungeon where you fought uh, Ganon. It's just ten out of ten. Those games were great. Those games were amazing, and the way that they utilized um, they didn't even have to utilize the link functionality. They utilized just the way that kids played games that day, those days, in a group, on a couch, 
to their advantage were amazing. Yeah, kind of like the NFC tanks. Um, kind of like, but kind of like amiibos, just in the way that you are sharing information, you're sharing your experiences that you've had on another game with somebody else's copy of the game. Now, I have gone majorly on a tangent here, and I was going to start another tangent on uh, how I really miss the good old days of Coach Co-op, but... Janela, what are you doing in the game right now? What am I doing in the game right now? Well, right now, this guy's back. And Earth we've got to, uh, this, uh, we got to find the bones so for his pal. Also, rip your N64, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, I, I missed that message, Foamy. Yeah, rip your N64. Those consoles, um, they... <laughs> Older consoles tend to stand the test of time, but, you know, the N64 was such a marvel of engineering in the fact that it's amazing that it even works. Um, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, N64s, they, they don't have as long of a stable shelf life. Very fond memories of the N64, though. Um, especially first times that I booted up Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. Going back to uh, how Nintendo kind of. Oh, I don't remember the penguin. I don't remember the penguin or the kangaroo on this game. My memory is the worst. Do you remember the Yeti? Because there's also a Yeti. There's a good rush here. Yeah. Do you remember the Yeti? Yeah. There is a Yeti as well. Yes, he's got a big smile and I loved him. I think. <laughs> yeah, they made him look kind of weird in this game. In the uh, in the remaster. No, I can't break that. I can't get Spyro to break that. Yeah, fond fond memories of Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium Two. Many, many, many hours spent on it uh, playing the original Pokemon Yellow, Red, and Blue. I had all three versions. Um, I think my first one that I got was Red, but my parents very much, uh, very much identified that I was a massive fan, so they got me all three versions. I ended up getting both Gold and Silver as well. I had to get I had to get all the version exclusive Pokemon, so like I couldn't just have one. Because you gotta catch them all. Because you gotta catch them all. <laughs> they, like Game Freak was like really on to something as far as driving their sales numbers for uh, having like uh, version exclusive Pokemon and stuff like that. Um, I was fortunate enough that my parents could afford all of the versions that I wanted until I was old enough to start buying my own. Um, my first Pokemon game was one that he bought me. Pokemon true. Yellow. Very true. I think that was for one year anniversary, right? Uh, it was for Christmas. I remember because I forgot yours. Uh, we ended up both getting each other a Game Boy Color um, for Christmas, and I forgot it at uh, school because I was living in residence at college. So that would have been 
Yeah, that would have been our one year. Yep. Yep. Nine years ago. Um, yeah, so Janela is like one of the biggest Pokemon fans you'll ever meet. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan, I'm the biggest collector. You're the biggest collector, which in turn makes you a massive fan. I guess. Um, because you watch the cartoon, oh, I watch the anime um, as well. You, you went and rewatched all of the <laughs> original and the Orange Islands. Yeah. Um, I was on episode like 300 and something throughout college. And then I saved it on my old laptop, and then my old laptop just went. And I just haven't gone back to it. But I was going through like every single episode ever. <laughs> But for as big of a fan as she was, I think we mentioned this, she was not a Nintendo kid. So she didn't have a Game Boy, she didn't have an N64. I had a Game Boy. Okay, well you never... Then how the hell did you never own Pokemon? Because I played Spyro. <laughs> Alright. Well, well, there we go. There's I played the Spyro there. and Crash. <laughs> but she, she never played any of the Pokemon games. So, one year anniversary, I got her her first Pokemon game. Which was and I didn't Mariela. beat it. And you did. I didn't. You no no no. Okay. I didn't beat it. I didn't beat Pokemon Yellow. I beat um, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Yes. The Spyro Crash game car, crossover games on Game Boy though. Yes. I have both of them. I'll be here when you need me. Um. Yeah. Like, for as big of a Pokemon fan as she was, she never played Pokemon, so... Got that for her. She took it with her on the bus to school just about every day and played it. Uh, the old... <laughs> the old uh, chiptune soundtrack in the Game Boy would give her headaches. Especially when it got really high-pitched, like in the Cinnabar Mansion, as an example. Um, so she never beat it, but... She did the basically the beat it by playing Let's Go Eevee. Right? It's the same game. Hmm. For the most part. Uh, except I'm here, really not a fan of how they handled wild wild, uh, wild Pokemon mechanics for that game. Or is that just... No, hold on. Hold on. Did, they, did they let you fight the wild Pokemon in that game? No, okay. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so it's just Pokemon. Well, no, you, you you didn't fight the wild ones. You um. You just fought the you trainers. You fought the trainers. Yeah, wasn't a fan of that. That's like, that takes away a huge part of the experience. Um, as an RPG. Oh yeah, it was super chill. It is a super chill game, but I don't like how they took out the the combat, the wild encounters, because that takes away a huge part of the experience. As an RPG, as an RPG there should be some level of grind, especially as a JRPG. Um, and you, obviously, you got cool Pokemon with cool moves, you want to use the cool moves. Like, most of the encounters in the Pokemon games are not trainer encounters, they are wild encounters. So of course you want to use your Pokemon. You don't just want to chuck a ball. Um, that was obviously them promoting Pokemon Go and, and Pokemon Go's way of doing it, which yeah. also not the biggest fan of, but um, I will say props to Pokemon Go for how it has um, energized a lot of people to get out and uh, also meet in their local communities. And not just Pokemon Go, but also the genre that it has spawned, because there's a lot of games in that genre now. Like, did you know that there's a Harry Potter one? There's a Harry Potter Pokemon Go alike. That I downloaded and played just for local when I was in a having a having a Harry Potter kick. He gets a lot of kicks. Okay, he he will play a game for ever until he finishes every game in whatever he's interested in. Whether that be um, Dragon Ball Z, he'll watch all of the show. He'll watch every episode. He'll play every game until he gets weird out and annoyed and just moves on to the next big thing. It's so aggravating. 
I'll have you know, it's a lot of a lot of the times not that I get worn out and aggravated. It's just something no, else. No, I get aggravated. Okay, well, it's not that I get worn out of it. It's that a lot of the times something else comes along that grabs my attention and starts pulling it away from it. Yes. So, <laughs> it's not that I lose my love for those things. Like, it's it's just that uh, something else comes along and grabs my attention away from them for a bit. But I always go back to them. Yeah, but my city doesn't have enough spots for these games. So you can get... Yeah. It's very true. It has gotten a little bit better for rural players, but uh, if you're not in a massive city, like an example near us would probably be like Toronto, um, yeah, there's not much going on. Hey now, let's head on over to the Whirly Gate. I don't like how smugly he said that. Yeah, he's not that smug in the original. You can use the whirly gig whenever you're ready. For anybody who's just tuning in, thank you for coming to check out the stream. Welcome to Spyro Streamathon for Cancer. Um, we're on day three. Day three, game three. Day three, game three. Uh, going for 12 hours today, just as we did yesterday. Uh, we have you raised... How much is that? 1139 I asked you to carry out one uh, simple yep. task. Uh, 1135. 1135. Yeah. Than to rely on a child. But don't worry so about far, it. we've raised $1,135 so far. These eggs can't be worth Big all this props trouble. to everybody who's come Without out the dragons, just to the watch, just uh, to donate. Without magic, uh, I'll die. You guys are supporting a fantastic so cause that has affected both of our families of and sorceress. affects people every single day. Now, watch how a real so sorceress you. dispatches her enemies. Release me from this cage, you merciless miscreants! How would you like some dragon for <gasps> lunch? <laughs> Why, well, if I had my club, you'd all be in for. Uh... Hey, Caspa! Oh, Caspa's Flicks. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I think you got uh, gifted a, uh, a sub this morning. Yeah, I think you might have. Uh, Liberty went on a gifting spree. She gifted 10 subs, which was bonkers. I don't keep saying bonkers. bonkers. I like the way that I say bonkers, so I say bonkers. You can really hear the Canadian in my voice when I say bonkers. You like me saying bonkers, chat? Ah. <laughs> Ow, he just ran up under me and just, and just hit me? Yeah, Caspa, welcome. We've, uh... As, uh, as we were just saying, we've already raised over $1,100. We're up at $1,135. Um, it's been going great. I, I cannot emphasize just how like, absolutely ecstatic I am at, at the community tournament. You guys have been amazing. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you, Ow. Um, I mean, it's great that everybody's turned out, but at the end of the day, while we are providing you with, you know, gameplay and, and experience, uh, we are just the platform. We've just given you guys the, the, the uh, easy way to donate. Um, so, it is, as much as it uh, is us playing the game, it is one million percent you guys showing up and donating. So thank you very much. Oh, son of a! That is a flat dragon. Thanks. I didn't notice. Yep, the JoJo fam does know how to show support. You guys are fantastic. 
And again, I'm going to say, sorry if the energy is a little bit lower today. Um, oh yeah, full game. Sorry if the energy is a little bit lower today. Uh, we are a few days into this. And it has been a long time. Deserves all the hype herself after dropping 10 gift subs today. I'm going to keep repeating that. Hype her up, chat! Hype her up! If you have not dropped by her channel, drop a follow or drop a subscription yourself. Do it! Do so. Entering Eve Evening Lake World. It's an interesting name. Well, there was morning, midday, evening, and then there's going to be midnight. Sure. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's contagious. I'm sorry. What are you up to right now, Liberty? You just uh, lurking around some streams, dropping some support? If you're still here, that is. <laughs> Listen to me, Dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The Sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you, believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before before I can't say it just go I ain't going nowhere hmm. All right. I have talked for a while now I'm gonna go and resume my post at the computer as the moderator. Ugh. Thank you for listening to this old man chat. Ugh. I also wanted to come back here because there hasn't been. Um, there hasn't been one of these in a little while. Little. Uh, <laughs> you went to your desk just so you could do this to me? <laughs> You're gonna change the screen. Yeah, yeah. My mouth already hurts. Oh. Uh, okay. Just looking at this. Oh wait, there's a there's a seed in this one. One second. Look at it this way. It's not going to hurt as much as if you have to eat another lemon wedge. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I was going to eat this whole thing. <laughs> oh, lemon on my fingers. 
Uh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm All good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Foamy, do you remember the whale? They gave him pants, but he didn't used to have pants. Um, do you remember the whale? And you go in his mouth and you find an egg. I don't know why they gave him pants. Like, it's it's really weird. And they gave him weird teeth. Is he done spitting me out? Where am I? Okay. They gave him this goofy, this goofy, goofy grin and some pants, and I don't know why. Fireworks factory. Fun fact, a whale's... A dork. <laughs> That's funny. What the hell is that? Yeah, <laughs> I see you. I see you picking yourself up there. Oh. I was just about to foster check you. You're laying in like the worst way. Oh, hello. It's good to see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's walking plan, and I'm on a yep. secret mission to find him. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help.
Ow, not over there. Yeah. Noodles! Hydrate yourself, girl! Okay. The noodle dragon. go and get a rocket again. Not a firework. are amazing. Oh, there's a rocket right here. Oh, I didn't have sparks. I was fighting the boss on Little Nightmares 2 and it got super reach, so party called it noodle arms. <laughs> I didn't want to- I just wanted to kill it. It looks like you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind.
nightmares look spooky. But it also looked cute at the same time. you but it's out of reach you'll have to take the long way around through these rhinox to get to it little Can't read, huh? I think I can see it. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Right in the way. I don't see any problems. Oh, there's the rocket. Famous in Canada. Mark. I was 
Hey look, the egg's name is Grady. Close to Brady, but if you Grady. See Hansel, tell him I've gone back to evening like to finish work on the professor's walking. Close, yeah. Take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super fling at the same time. I hated this one because it's so difficult. You have to get every little bit of them gone. can throw them back, too. I'm just gonna go after one at a time. So I'm gonna go after the red one.
the red one? to get angry at anything and with a few efforts it's gonna be this one. You son of a- You son of a- I have to do that shit all over again. The FCC allows one F word per stream. For reals? <laughs> if you, you want to drop it, then drop it. For reals. 
Shut the fuck up! Okay, there it is. <laughs> It's just a head. I just need to hit him once. Yes! I fished it out of the molten lava. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to hit send. I don't like maple syrup or hockey, and my in real life Canadian friend said it's illegal over there. <laughs>
mostly busy on craft. I won't be streaming for a few hours yet. Are you going to be streaming Minecraft? Can't remember what time you're supposed to stream Sundays. I'll probably pop on that as well. I need to go shopping and really kind of be bothered. Can't be bothered. the monkey. Grab some food, man. 40 minutes and then you got a stream? You need some food. Okay, go sh do some shopping. Enjoy. You be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake my pick at. Darn shame, too, if I was mighty close to finding my treasure.
Little tofu. Hello. I am having a good day. I'm glad you're here. Uh, we're just doing the charity stream. We're on the third Spyro game in the Reignited Trilogy. And my legs hurt. That's about it. used to be my favorite diving spot, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Alrighty then, press the jump button to speed on up, and when you get a sub in your... I can't posture check at the same time as stretching my legs.
gonna die. I'm so tired. Still haven't done a stream well, over four I hours long. Yeah, I usually There'd stick to like two hours, so this is like a big ways. difference for me. Could blast them. I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. Darn tootin'. Get on, little dragon. Oh, I get sidetracked a lot of the time. Like I forget what I'm talking about most of the time. <laughs> I can't see anything. This is so dark. Are you getting glare? No, it's not glare. It's dark. Like, I can't see anything. Let me see if I can do something. Uh, apologies if you guys lose game footage for a second. Yeah, I'm not sure if this will affect the TV, but I'm going to try. So it does affect the TV. That's better. Oh my god. The acid lake is safe for swimming again. I wish I could reward you better, but all I got left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one. Hydrate yourself, girl. Thank you, apple juice. Thank you. 
to go through the green stuff. Yay! Thanks for the follow! The stream's been going great! We've made, uh... Well, we've, uh... We've raised... Uh, $1,135. of $65. We're at $1,200. You know what that means? I have to eat a lemon wedge because we made another $100 milestone. So, incoming lemon wedge. Thank you so much, Jay. <laughs> it's been a little uh, lull here and I needed that energy. Thank you. Lemon! Okay, here we go. Look at the screen. Oh my god! Ah! You forgot to switch the screen! Sorry, I forgot to switch the stream. Um, maybe you should do another lemon wedge. Oh. <laughs> do another lemon wedge? Yeah. That's I, not fair. You forgot to switch the screen. I mean, it's $1,200. You can do another lemon wedge. Oh, switch the screen. Okay. Bye. Stick around, you're in for a lemon wedge. I had to do another one because Lendis forgot to switch the screen. This one's got a cat hair on it. Okay. Lemon wedge. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I just ate a lemon 
Why do you want me to lick it? Oh. Oh. Okay, here's your lick of lemon. <laughs> you monster. Just in case so I don't miss it. Oh yeah, Sai, you were gifted a uh, subscription by um, uh, Liberty Kitty this morning. <laughs> oh, there's lots of clips. This is the technically the 13th um, lemon that I've had to eat. Because we have raised now $1,200. High five, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, $12.59. We have done 240% of our goal. Our goal was $500. We have destroyed that. Thank you, community. Thank you, family and friends. Thank you. Sounds good, Sai. Oh, my mouth. Oh, it still hurts. Ah. But yes, we're raising funds for the Canadian Cancer Society, really close to home. My mom just finished her last radiation treatment for breast cancer this Tuesday. So this is my way of giving back. Um, a lot of people are impacted by different types of cancer. And our family, me, me and Lendis, our family is going through it right now. And we want to, to help everybody who's, who's struggling who wants to know about prevention measures, check out the Canadian Cancer Society. They help over a hundred different types of cancer um, for their research. <sighs> How many lemons have I eaten in total? Oh my gosh. 13 lemon wedges. 13 lemon wedges that is a lemon and a half and a bit I have eaten a lemon and a half and a bit You're not getting scurvy anytime soon. Lots of cancer in my fam. I just shared you on my Instagram. Hope some of my friends will join up. Aw, thank you, little tofu. And I'm sorry to hear that there's a lot of cancer in your family, but, um, I mean, mine too, you know? I got my mom, who's just finishing her breast cancer treatments. Well, finished them. We got a cake to celebrate and all. And, uh... My grandma, my papa, they both, uh, they both had, uh, cancer. I believe it was lung cancer. Um, he passed away when I was quite young and my grandma passed away in 2011. Um, right after I got home from Honduras. So I got to see her before she passed. She seemed fine then. Um, but she was such a joy such a joy and it, it's hard to lose people to cancer because you know what they're going through is so tough and you wouldn't you wouldn't know how to you know unless you've been through it yourself you wouldn't know how to relate but you know that it's hard because you've seen people struggle but uh, just I again I just want to say thank you to everybody you guys are amazing and this wouldn't be possible without you guys. I 
Anyways. I guess let's get back to Spyro. Yeah, so you're back. Yeah. I'm trying to break this thing over there. As you can see, it keeps clipping in and out. I'm supposed to use this. But every time... I gotta use that one down there. Sorry, I feel your pain. My mom had stage, stage 3 melanoma. My uncle, unfortunately, uh, passed with it. Grandpa on both sides. Grandma with breast cancer. It's crazy. Love and hugs. Love and hugs to you, too. It's hard seeing your loved ones go through that kind of stuff. and You just hope and pray that it doesn't happen to you. Or anybody else that you know but the unfortunate reality is that there's so many different types of cancer and the Canadian Cancer Society they they share knowledge on prevention and how to you know get through stuff and the supports that you can find that's why I thought you know let's give back to the people that have saved so many with the funds that they give for research. We are shooting for the moon. I never thought that we would get this far. I was saying it before. Thank you for the host. Oh my gosh. Yes. Let's reach as many people as we can. Shout out for sure. God, I just got bombarded by crabs. For anybody just tuning in, we are raising awareness and funds for the Canadian Cancer Society. We are at 12.20.59. That's $1,220. Insane. We're $80 away from another lemon wedge. Spyro, you're just in time. A Rhinox God, I hate this level. challenged us to a race. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you, though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Right on! You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the charge button. Good luck!
I hate this level. Really? Really? I mean, I was in second place. That's not that bad. Jeez. Come on. This is... Weenus Cheeks, thanks for the follow. This game right here, this mini game, this skateboarding mini game, it sucks. Oh my god! So far behind. BS2! If I, if I mess this up, get out of here. Oh, he just boosted me. He just boosted me. Woohoo! You schooled him like a bunch of dizzy one toed sand norks. Oh, yeah. I guess we won this egg, too. Oh, sorry. I missed all that stuff going on. 
Welcome, Weenus Cheeks. Thank you for the follow again. How you doing? I wish I could do that. Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a... All right! Eat my skate dust, sucker! working watching the stream gay for multitasking oh my gosh i hate this spot Oh my gosh, I'm lapping Hunter. That's hilarious. Sheesh, I can't believe you beat me. You must have Multiple been tabs open. Whole just supporting right now my stream later, but got my average is three viewers, hey, so I'm just waiting for which, a update on my account. Not nice. Yeah, first place. It's the only place I'm taken. make press on nails so it's a bit more hands-on. Lots of watching time though. Makes sense.
center, so I can't really be up here in the base. I think that's what I'm going to Yeah. Tired. You need another key? Yeah. Hi chat, I'm Lindis. I'm uh, I'm the mod of Janela's stream. Just so you can put a face to the name and all that. I'm gonna go get her another another tea while she's uh, struggling through this game. Emotes are so cute. It's so cute. I have these ones. These ones are this one's mine. Um, but I'll be getting new ones soon. Yeah, it's based off of our uh, our cat Dulcie. Um, if you save up your snowflakes, um, so your channel points, you'll be able to redeem it for a cat cam, and we'll uh, we'll put that on her. <laughs> She's sleeping somewhere. I don't know where. Probably in the closet. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I fell on the honey. You can keep playing while I'm doing it. Okay. Here, Chad, are you ready for this? I think people are still here. I was just talking to a little tofu. Mm -hmm. This is from my grandpa. He doesn't have an account, but my grandma was afflicted by cancer. So he's race. very proud of what's going on here. I can't look Thank at my screen. I'm in a race. Okay, well, then I'm just going to tell you. Grandpa donated. Oh my gosh. We're almost at $1,500. Everybody. Oh my god, I fell in the honey. Let me see this. 200. What was the message? I didn't see the message. Um, I'm, I'm I'll read it to your spine. <laughs> I know. Where's your cape? You're not dressed for the day. She's like, I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. One second. I'll, I'll rerun the, uh, the notification. Just give me one second. Okay. You got pet news. You should start telling Brady, too, that uh, there's a, a woman at Home Depot that you're but this is from my grandpa. Often, he doesn't have an account, but my grandma was Joey's afflicted mom. by cancer. I was going to say, so she works there. So he's very proud of what's going on here. <laughs> yep. Thank you, That's guys. That's funny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did the message pop up or did, was I looking away? You were looking away. I'll oh, shoot. It. Just Sorry. read it. This is from my grandpa. He doesn't have an account, but my grandma was affected by cancer. So he's very proud of what's going on here. Thank you, guys. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Now I have to eat two more lemons. Yeah, you do, actually. Okay. Uh, I would Zoom say sorry, in. but no. <laughs> Zoom in. Okay. Yeah, I got to make sure to catch these lemons. Should I do them both at the same time since it was the same dono? That's up to you, my dear. You think you can do two at the same time? I think I can do it for chat. Oh, my mouth is already salivating. I'm not even like. It you're, hurts. You're developing to a just taste look at for them. lemons. You're salivating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lemon time. Here's two. I'm gonna do one one after the other if I can. If I can't do one after the other and my face is too sour, then I'll just do one at a time. <laughs> I'm dosy. Okay. Here we go. Mm. 
It's stuck in my teeth, it won't go down. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm tearing. Okay, we did it. How many lem lemons do we have left in my bag here? We've got half a lemon left. Do I dare say, if we reach $1,500, we will have Dulcie don the cape once again, and Lendis and I will eat another lemon. Another and he's got to eat another lemon wedge. Yeah. He's <laughs> another lemon wedge. Not the whole thing. Stop. Fine. You monster. You, you're doing it again. Okay, licking a lemon. Oh, it was juicy. Oh, it was juicy. I was a juicy one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yes, if we reach $1,500, which is, we're only $80 away from that. If we get another $80 for the Canadian Cancer Society, then you have 2.9k points. Oh my gosh. Then Lendis and I will both eat a lemon wedge. wedge. And Dulcie will don her cape again. <laughs> she doesn't even want to go near them. Yeah, I'm going to get your teeth. Uh, I'm gonna switch you back. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe we've gotten this far. Yeah, I mean, well, th is your phone working right now? Ruby just tuned in! Yes, we're almost at $1,500. We're $80 away. <clears throat> we just had a $200 donation by Brady's grandpa. Mom says if you get 2,000, you both have to eat a warhead. <laughs> Go about, get your laundry, Sai. I don't know about 2,000. That would... Oh, roly-poly. Roly-poly baby. 2,000 would be over 1,000. I'm going till 9 o'clock, yes. Um, yeah. Have your friends... Have your friends... Let your friends know. See if they'll send you anything. And then you can send it over here. It doesn't need to be them donating. They can donate on the behalf. You, somebody can donate on behalf of them. Oh, you haven't checked the Facebook lately, have you? I haven't checked the Facebook lately. Let me check the Facebook. You can uh, switch the screen back yourself, so... Okay. okay. I gotta go and make it. Okay. Mm, nope. No more. No more on Facebook. My gosh, Ruby friends, what friends? I don't know, Amory. <laughs> I just, 
I'm in shock that we've gone this far. I thought I was just going to have this little old stream with this little old goal. And we've gone a thousand dollars over what I thought we would we would do. If all 15 viewers right now donated 33 33, we could push it to 2000. <laughs> oh, it's 12 now, but still. <laughs> 12 viewers, yes. Sometimes it's a little skewed. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less, but usually there's more than what it's letting on. Um, and not everybody is, is watching continuously. Some of them have just, you know, come in and they're doing other things and this is playing in the background. Um, but yeah, um, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're going to be reaching so many people right now with this donation. You, <laughs> you've got it playing, but you're not actively here. <laughs> yeah, I saw that uh, mom was playing Animal Crossing too. I'm playing on my 3DS. It's such bad quality. <laughs> Comparatively, yeah. Alright, let's try this again. How far do you need to go on the game? Uh, not sure, but I am in uh, the second last place, so not too, too much. I think we could finish it uh, today, or we'll get really, really close. Race the bumblebees. Huh? 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 
final lap. I know I already did this one, but I'm trying to find something. I'm not necessarily trying to complete this, just trying to find something. There it is. Look out, Spyro. There's a really big sheep UFO around here. And it's Stretch your legs. Oh, thank you. I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct. And now it wants revenge. Oh. You wait here. I'll lure the UFO down oh, the river cramp. of honey. Oh, uh, cramp. Okay, here I go. What are you eating? Look out, Spyro. There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me. I snatched up a yeah, well, it here. smells I'll delicious. The UFO down the river of honey. Okay, yeah, here I go. Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look, I didn't even drop the egg. It's like the stereotypical line of when you say when they drop the egg. Oh, my legs hurt so bad. I am keeping them stretched.
If we want sushi, looks like it's gonna be sp at spring sushi. Asano is only takeout. Okay. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. Oh yeah? feel funny again. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. Oh, and uh, best of luck rescuing that princess, or whatever it is you're up to.
legends. There's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Gross seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. <clears throat> I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. <laughs> You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seats? Hey Sunquill, how are you doing?
It's going really, really good. We've got our charity stream up and running for the third day in a row. Um, and I mean, <laughs> everybody has been phenomenal. And uh, we've raised over 15, no, over $1,400 um, for cancer, for the Canadian Cancer Society. And we are close to breaking 1500. I know. It's crazy. How'd your stream go? I heard that uh, um, you were playing Animal Crossing. I saw that you were playing Animal Crossing. Golden Goose. You can have another one of its eggs as a souvenir. No problem. One hundred percent IRL first. <laughs> okay, I thought I was going to fall off. Started my island as I'm awful at it, and some of my followers are really good, so they were giving me all good tips. Job hunting sucks. I also need to work out how to raid from Streamlabs. Oh, that's that's not hard. Um, Lendis can help you out with that. Um, yeah, we need to be friends on Animal Crossing, by the way, because I stream Animal Crossing as well. And I just restarted my island uh, for streaming, so. We can help each other out. DM me your uh, your friend code. And I will add you after my stream is over at like 9 at night. <laughs> Feel dumb. I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> I 
Hey, Spyro. Isn't Prince Asriel just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azriel says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Hey, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, <clears throat> an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, uh, just a friend, you understand. Strictly platonic relationship. Uh, certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. Uh, what? What are you giving me that look for? Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. DM with friend code. So, I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality because there are still Yeah, no a problem, no problem at all. Temple. Have you been? Those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope.
admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. Even turn the floor Absolutely into smashing it. Ooze. Oh, do be careful. Okay. Ten dollars from Sunquill. Thank you. Yes. 1430 is what we're at right now. 70 more, and we've got another lemon eating. Lemon wedge. And then Bundus will eat a lemon wedge too. <laughs> Thank you. Hummingbird resistance movement. Okay, go people. lurk. No now problem. We have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Oh, and I think you were gifted a sub this morning by uh Liberty Kitty. Um, pardon me? Brady. Oh. Elo is playing a game. She's streaming. What? Elo is streaming. What? How do you... I can see her streaming. I have a bar on the side of my screen that tells me everybody who's online right now. She's got five viewers. Oh, oh, over there. Call of Duty.
I'm so tired. Can I have a tea break? Are we having like dinner food break? Yep. Okay. For all the Hannahs out there. tired. <laughs> Thank you for Rizzle. Let's 
get this Yeti. The sorceress has a real prize. Oh, love and the love. Doesn't up to capture this dim-witted furball. So you better believe he's not. Hey, Martini. Yeah, since the last time you were here, we actually have fourteen hundred and thirty dollars now. Martini loves Spyro. Yeah. I love Spyro. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's I know, it's amazing, right? Ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I I've had to eat so many now? lemons. <laughs> yeah, I platted it on the PS4. This is me playing it on the Switch. Uh, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, our genuine and my noble deliverer. This is the Yeti. This looks nothing uh, like. It was no big Yeti. deal, dude. This yes. is the Yeti. <clears throat> they uh, made him look very different. Out. Why you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous Ursi? Now hold on! <laughs> oh, Rizzle with the subscribe! <laughs> Thank you! That is a snow buffalo. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Yeah! <laughs> Get jiggy with it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you! Five tier one subs. Thank you for being you. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. All I want to be is myself. Thank you for the follow, Martini. Oh my gosh, so much love. I'm going to be getting new uh new uh emotes soon. So for those of you who are subscribed, you're going to be getting something better than my current one. <laughs> it's for a great cause and a great streamer. Thank you. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro. Are but you? First, I must attend to my young sibling. <laughs> I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. I don't. Don't. No. Stop it. So much love, so much love. Thank you. Time to bash some stuff. Hey bro, it'd be really cool if you smashed that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Well, we we were both staring at food break, but um how would you feel if I was gonna do that Uh yeah. 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 Just uh Put the gravy in, um, like, a. if your mom has, like, a glass measuring cup, you, that's what I would do. But otherwise, um, you know.
Oh my god, I just realized. Today is Sunday. I just restarted my weekly sub goal. My goal was three. We're at 17. My mind is blown. If you use your... All the Brian's out there. point for pushing it off the edge. Haha. <laughs> no-brainer to play this game for this stream. Oh, Nifty Furball, thank you for the follow! <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody. Oh my god. We on fire! For those who are just tuning in, we are raising money for the Canadian Cancer Society. Um, they help out with all different kinds of cancer and it's my way of giving back um, for the people who have helped gain so much awareness and funds for research that, uh, that potentially saved my mom's life. I mean, like, she just finished doing her last radiation treatment on Tuesday. And there's a lot of other family members that are going through it right now or have gone through it in the past. Um, so we're just trying to do our part here and give back. If you're interested in donating, um, just put in exclamation can dono and it'll, uh, it'll explain everything for you. So this is our last day of the charity stream. Oh, it's a seal. Um, so last day, we're gonna be going until 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm hoping that we can beat this game by then. <laughs> um, 
Um, we are in the last stretch of it, so I believe we can, as we're only seven hours into the 12 hour day today. Oh yeah, and at $1,500, I will eat a lemon wedge, Lendis will eat a lemon wedge, and our cat Dulcie will don a cape. And currently, if anybody has enough points for a cat cam, this is prime cat cam right now. She is on her little cat couch, and she's basically sleeping, but there's a dog outside barking, so she might wake up. You might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes, this was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry. I can't. I love their relationship. It's so cute. Frozen altars. Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Woohoo! Ice Breath. I loved this one because the elephant looking things were so cute. The mammoths. Some bear sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox, but with these flippers, I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it, though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the action button, and you'll walk back out. I also loved controlling the uh, the lasers <laughs> and turning people into blocks of ice. <laughs> Oh, 
everyone doing, chat? We got uh, another follower. Um, yeah, Nifty Furball. Nifty Furball. Nifty, I saw you. I think I saw you in Froizel's chat. How you doing, man? Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then, they've been stomping around building That's ice walls and generally card. causing trouble. No. Now, in the original game, the snowman did not look this scary. <laughs> Popping that up to keep everyone in chat informed. Oh, I'm coming on camera. Are you? Yeah. I have to. You. Okay. Ugh. Otherwise, you're just gonna be a mysterious hand coming out of nowhere. Hello, oh, Jack. How are you doing? This is my husband, Landis. Howdy. So you can put a face to the name. Gravy might be a little warm, I'm sorry. I didn't warm it up in syrup, but... That's okay. Look at that, you're, you're 17 spokes just today. I mentioned that. That is bonkers. And yet, you like that word. I am saying... Well, I, I honestly don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, we could have a bonkers counter <laughs> on the stream. Because you guys are bonkers. Crazy. When you feed me the next one, hmm? can you cut it in it? half yeah. and dunk it? Huh? Because it's not enough for you. Hmm. And it was a lot to chew. Hmm. Oh no. I see where I have the it's stuck in my throat hiccup. Uh oh. <laughs> Want <your> tea? <laughs> no. I just have to work through it. If I'm ever eating on stream. Uh, and I just stop all of a sudden. It's not because I um, am choking or anything. I just, I don't know what it is, but I have like this thing that happens to me when I eat too fast or I eat like meat or bread or rice. It just gets stuck and then it's harder to breathe. I knew you'd do it. Go and show him not Yeah, if she was choking, you would know. Yeah, my hands would be up here. Hit him low when he tries to I gotta stretch this one leg. Oh, 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 cramp, cramp. That's a cramp. Cramp, cramp. Okay, okay. Things we do. Okay. All right. Um, things we do for charity. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, did you dunk it and fully submerge it and in gravy? I want all the gravy. Okay. Here go. Mmm. That's so much better. <laughs> yes, this is now officially a foodie stream. But not a feeder stream. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> smart about prepping for this. We prepped all the food that we've eaten um, during our breaks uh, the night before we started this. Just to minimize 
is all the input that we put in. I knew we were gonna be really busy with this. So we had we passed to the first day, right? No. No, we have passed to yesterday. No, we had ribs. We had ribs the first day. Pork ribs the first day. Second day we had pasta, and now we're having meatballs for the third day. Wait a minute. This is the Are you counting how many meatballs are you? This is the second half. Oh, okay. It's a little bit bigger, though. Okay. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. First half. This time, it'll be a three-round match. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Why are his jabs so fast? are so much faster than mine. Yeah, I think his jabs are faster than yours. That discourage you exactly what you're doing right now. Button machine. <laughs> See his gloves, see it right there. His gloves are hanging by his side. He his stomach. He, he's, he's blocking his stomach. There's no button for block. Come on, I'm so close. time you got up to stretch your legs was when you went to the washroom. Maybe you're due to get up and stretch. That isn't like you should get up and stretch. No. I'm just gonna stretch my legs out. Sometimes that helps. Just go walk around for a minute. She's committed, chat. Now I'm gonna get up. She is committed to what she is doing. 
Hey! She was scratching at the floor. Oh lord, she's coming. Oh lord, she's coming. There is no. Here you go. Too, so I'm gonna go refill your bottle after you uh, finish these. Okay. Ready for the second one? Yeah. It ends up that we're still hungry tonight. He's cooking himself. Okay. Let's hey, baby, come here. Fuzzy bum. Fuzzy rise. Oh, she's happy. She's a happy girl. Chat can't see what we're talking about, so the, if there is anyone listening, they're probably very confused. It's currently a cat. Currently a cat that is in Janella's lap. Twitch isn't lying. Is it? Oh. Honestly, I I don't know how to tell. I mean, the easy way to tell would be if all thirteen people were just talking. Said, just said <laughs> we're we're right like, now. I'm here. But uh, <laughs> I know for a fact what? that some of those people are lurking. Some of them have their own streams going on right now. Hi, all good. Your ears are in stream. You're a sports fan, Frozen. aren't you? As you probably you know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the Damn great weird. sport of cat hey. hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but Even I just <laughs> happen to have a spare ticket <laughs> that I'll sell you for, say, the teensy weensy markup. Head on in, Spyro. Awesome. It should be a thrilling match. In fact. Hey. <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Hey, Let's don't just hope you reach the local for it. team doesn't have any last-minute acts. 
Hey! Salty! <laughs> she keeps grabbing the meatball. I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, <laughs> but I think I sprained my flipper while training. Would you mind taking my place? And that doesn't Great. mean reach for the, the other part. Push them into my goal to score. We're playing cat hockey. Yep, cat hockey. You deserve to keep the champion's cup. Elo with the raid. Oh <laughs> Elo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, McNall, champ boss. Modelo man, hello. Big time read, yeah. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. In all the raids today, you are a very popular person. You gave that Rhinox such a drubbing. He's retired from the sport for good. We just played cat hockey in Spyro. <laughs> hey, McNall, we're at fourteen thirty. One thousand four hundred and thirty dollars and fifty nine cents now. I know, I know. It is huge. I have to say thank you again, just to everybody who's either donated uh, or just watched the stream in general. Big, big thank yous. Yes, thank you guys. I'm just gonna run and grab some water for us and we'll be back. Please enjoy the stream. On the bridge. This is the bridge. Oh, it means on that bridge. We are gonna 100% this game. There is no way we are not. We are seven and a half hours in out of a 12 hour stream and we are gonna do it. Excuse me, pick up. Kelsey, come over here. 
so people can see you. Oh yeah, showing that booty. Give me that booty, I want the booty. Large booty, small booty, regular size booty. <laughs> Thick booty, flat booty. Give me that booty. I got one of those. It's not as good, but... <laughs> oh yeah, we can't do this one yet because we gotta get the monkey. Okay, so we're 60% of the way done Year of the Dragon. So that's good to know, 60%. I think we can finish the, the last 40. Hey, hey, hey! She is drinking my tea. That's my tea. Making a mess. Silly cat. Gothic King, hi! I think the last time I called you go thicking. <laughs> Sorry. How are you? You remember me from yesterday, yeah. Yesterday I was still playing this game, but now we're on the third game. The rocket is ready for launch, Spyro. Hop aboard whenever you want. Hey, Elo. Glad to see you're still here. And it's good that you're good. I'm good, I'm great. To Midnight Mountain. Incoming another boss. You were addicted to the third one? <laughs> Baby got fussy, so I had to end stream. Aw, that sucks. Oh, I am stretching, believe me. I am. I will stretch some more. Ooh. Feel the burn. Hydrate yourself, girl. Oh, where's my water? My water's not here yet. Lendis is getting it for me. I've had enough. I'm going to create a monster to I have 94 eggs, monsters. I think. Oh, in the third one? Oh, and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons. Get I'm going to get all of them. <laughs> yes. Yes. It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them. Oh, yes. Smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them. Let me out of here, you. <laughs> But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as I can still collect their wings. Thank you. Hydrate. What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell so I can live huh? forever. <sighs> Wait a second. A a You're gonna sit over there? What did you think I was okay. going to do with then all those I will sit for you. Open a zoo? <laughs> Uh, if I had my blaster, camera, a different tone. Sideways. 
You said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Oh. Scorches the boss. Well, this is gonna get real That's me. ugly. <laughs> ah. Yeah, when I found out that she was like just gonna kill all the dragons, I was like. Oh. Hey, McSquarehead! This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Ooh, this thing fierce. We are in the jaw of a beast. We're in the belly of the beast. Chicken. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I'm already on Midnight Mountain. Yeah, I've been here a million times. Oh no! My my computer died because Dulcie unplugged it. Your computer died. My computer died. I can't see chat. So, um, lend us if you would mind reading chat for me while I load my computer back up. I already plugged it back in. You don't need to stand up. Yeah, it's turning on. It's just my laptop. It's so old that um, it doesn't function unless it's plugged in. It sounds like the, like the start of a Yo Mama joke. Yo laptop. My so laptop old. is so old. It needs to be plugged in to survive. But yeah, I used to play this as a kid, and I had the uh, the burned copy. So because it was a burned copy, it had anti-piracy measures. These things are annoying, man. Um, chicken, I need you. No, 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 no. falling over. Gotcha! Okay, 
I'm gonna sit cross-legged again so everything doesn't fall over. chat say? Does it say anything? No, it's Boston real easy. Gila was saying no, it's your laptop dying. Oh. Uh, got the games just played around X Xbox. He is too. Uh, he's easy. You know the game. All three of them have cheat codes. I don't want cheat codes. Hi, Bianca. Did you bring any more food? I'm starving. <laughs> There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> I love how the more Bianca opens up to uh, Spyro and Hunter, the more she becomes exposed um, to who she really is. me but I want to help you stop the sorceress there's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair but it'll take some very strong magic if you can find more of the dragon eggs I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal I'll come find you when you have enough eggs okay All right, I'm back in chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Janelle is like a black belt at Spyro. <laughs> Thank you. I know the ins and outs of this game. That over there, that tells you what the final information is. So there's 149 eggs in the game and there's 15,000 gems. So we're doing pretty good right now. We've got 101 and we're at 45,000 gems. So we're getting there. Also, the money that we've spent on uh, Mr. Moneybags, um, he, uh, that counts towards the total, so. Just can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you just uh, get the link for the, the donation thing on Facebook and send that to me on Discord? Yeah. Foamy wanted to donate, but she couldn't do it through PayPal, so. It does not block achievement when cheats are active. Well, that's interesting to know. I, I feel like they should be, but. Okay, so you want the link to okay. the a, dono a on direct, my Facebook. A direct link to the donation um, I can send you a link to my to my um, to my post. Do people have to be friends with you to donate? Um, it's been able to sh be shared, so it sh they shouldn't. Uh, 
just let me know if they have trouble with it. the bellies out there. But yeah, I've only ever beaten um, the third um, Spyro's boss once um, because I played it on the PlayStation. Um, and I, well, I played it on the PlayStation 4. The burned copy that I had had anti-piracy measures, so you couldn't actually beat the boss. It would kick you out of the game once you got to the boss arena, and um, it would delete your well, save data. Well, so I never, I never it's beat it space until the figure, remaster came out. With a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. <laughs> You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Ah, oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out. Could there? <laughs> they really did a good job with the energy Thanks, Spyro. that uh, say, you ever see the monkey's got. <laughs> Agent 9, I believe is his name. Uh, no? Yeah, even then. Didn't know what numbers. <laughs> Ever seen fire dance? <laughs> well, good answer, isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, yeah, Huzzah! Yippee! Right. <laughs> oh, is it? I should have stayed, but my home world's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her a dance and lessons real soon. You know what I mean? You bet. Later! <laughs> Are they able to send it to you? Or do they want to use the Facebook? Omi can't send it through PayPal. Uh, oh. I wanted an additional, uh, another way to do it, so this would be good. Um, I mean... See if I can find another way. I don't know how to I don't know how to share it other than that. Here, finish phone to me, I'll see if I can do something. Copy link. Let me see if I can open it up in Chrome. Yeah, I can open it up just fine. thing I, that I never played the original version of Year of the Dragon on PlayStation. This is my new Twitch account because the old one got hacked. Oh. There's no other way to save it. Like, the link. I even clicked on the link to donate and there's no link for the donation page. I mean, if she's comfortable, see she can add me on I Facebook. I, I don't mind. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. I've been Next looking all morning. You know, I'll be in and out getting ready for a tournament. Ooh, well, tournament. You know, what kind of tournament? Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. And no problem for the lurking. <laughs> Got 
Gothic King, I am doing well, if you're asking me. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island and Gala, laboratory. yeah, lurking is fine. I don't mind. Taken over um, but what kind of tournament? Island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? It'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but to uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoc might be hiding amongst them. It's 1 p.m. now here in Cali. It is 5 o'clock here where I am. A vast number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. Indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. Yeah, switch Eastern on the new Time. And you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. I thought you said it was one where you are. in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode, then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy.
work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this Three is hours a bird behind. egg or dragon egg. Uh, what do you think? Now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in here. Uh, follow me outside where I expect we'll find some rhinox where I have no idea I don't like you'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them Tom Kenny the voice of professor and Spyro he is huh. I did not know that The bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot. And also the voice of Spongebob. <laughs> Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Now I can resume thinking. <laughs> Got rid of all my bombs. I have to go back and get them. A lemon. I want to be annoying, so 
<laughs> okay. I see you. You want to switch my screen, please? Salad is good. Okay, here's a lemon with a cat hair on it. Let me get the cat hair. Okay. Hi, Felix. <laughs> oh. Okay, can you switch back? <laughs> People are looking at your beautiful face. My sour face. How does it taste? Very sour. <laughs> Posture check, hydrate yourself. Okay, I'm going. Oh, ow, my back just cracked. The dojo made a fix it Felix chat?
if you don't like the fix it felix chat i mean just let them know because if it bothers you they should be respectful of that I tried and Corbett told me it's a movie fool. Oh, I think he's trying to make a um a movie chat. Like uh so people can come together and just watch a movie tonight together. The uh the, the fix it feel like this chat is for a tech export. Oh, for tech support. Okay. Well, maybe if uh, I don't know, there's got to be something. I mean, cornbread. If he he knows that if it bothers somebody, you know, it's not cool. So it's a chat for if anyone has issues with PC or OBS. Um. Um, I'm trying to think of another name that they could use. Spyro! Don't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress! We're hiding here whilst we practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had the beat of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. Evil beavers. I think I'll just bite the bullet and change my name and just put it in going live message that I changed it. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully! As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve and nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word... Do you use Felix um, underscore 73 for a lot of your platforms? Or is it just Twitch? Or maybe you could just adopt it and just be like, you know what, I'm fixing Felix now. Oh man, 
got the king. I'm so sorry to hear that. No one should have to go through that. You want to see the trick? is just misdirection, you know? Which is why I'm going to start that whirlwind over there. Abracadabra! Rating with a power of four. Yes. Master Sword destroys cancer. Yes. Destroy it. Oh my gosh, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I guess I gotta tell that guy to do it again, huh? So far, we've raised $1,430 for the fight against cancer for the Canadian Cancer Society to give that to um, wherever they send it to. I don't actually know where they send it to, but I know they put it towards research. Um, and they've been a big help across all platforms. Gosh, this game looks pretty. That's excellent. This game is very pretty. They've done quite a good job Tyro, with the remaster. Did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. Dang, you double what it was yesterday when I checked in. <laughs> yeah, Felix. Uh, we were we were at nine hundred and something by the end of the day. Let's see. Hocus pocus, ziggledy zen, make this bridge get long again. I've been working on a great new magic trick, but this bear keeps spoiling it. Yep, I'm playing on Nintendo Switch. I suppose I could show you my new trick. I think when I was at, as long uh, as you promise in, not to you tell were still at like Zamboni, 660, completely obliterated. For sure, we're like 256% of our goal. We only need 70 more dollars. And I eat a lemon, and so does Lendis. And our cat dons the cape again. Lemon wedges, by the way, not full on lemons. Yes, yeah, very important to clarify that. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, yep, $70. And I'm sorry that you feel like crying, man. Sometimes that's all you need. April's coming up. If you need to cry, cry. Do it. Gotta heal through Here, the pain. You can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but uh, my magic, it just keeps bouncing off. Yep, it's very important to keep your mental health a priority. Um, I know that. My husband knows that. A lot of people know that. Some people don't want to believe that they're in that situation, um, but if you're feeling like your mental health is deteriorating, definitely speak to a professional. Why am I going home? <laughs> I need to go back. Stretch your legs. Thank you, soul system. Oh my God. Oh, cramp. Cramp again. Does that mean I'm not getting enough water? Somebody hydrate me, man. Evolved Games Inc. Thank you for the follow. Power to Mario. Thank you for the follow as well. Oh, my legs. Hydrate is on cooldown? Okay, then I'll just drink it anyway. Hydrate yourself. Thank you. Stop yelling at me, lizard. Go back in here. Everything's gonna be back as far as the enemies go, but uh, I just need to get to a certain place and then it doesn't matter. Okay, we're looking at too much of the ceiling here. Oh my god, Felix! 8771 donation! Alright, Sourpuss, get your butt over here. Because we just met our $1,500 goal. <laughs> Let's eat some lemons! <laughs> Let's eat some lemons! <laughs> Hey, Ruby, yeah, we just met the goal of $1,500. Come on this side. I already turned it. Walk all the way over there, climb up on the bed. Just to... Yeah, yeah. Uh... This one doesn't have a seat in it. Um... Water. Very close by. <laughs> you get the big one this time. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, you get the big one. Oh. I mean, they're about the same size. You didn't change the screen over. Oh. It is a part of life, my man. Unfortunately, it is. But you know what? We're doing this to help people who are going through cancer. And you love the cats? Thank you. <laughs> They're based off of our cat, Dulcie. You'll see her soon. Um, we're doing this to help all those who are going through cancer, have gone through cancer, or have passed away due to cancer. We're trying to raise awareness and funds so that there's more research out there to help save their lives. Here's your lemon. Also, hi chat. I'm Lendis. I'm the moderator for my wife. This is my face. It's beautiful, I know. 
Oh, so beautiful. It's about to not be beautiful, but that's the price of the lemon. Okay. Alright. One, two, three. Oh, it's awful. It doesn't get better. It's worse because it's warm. <laughs> oh. It's stuck in my teeth. Thank you, oh. filthy animal. Oh. <laughs> God. Thank you, Felix, for pushing us past that boundary there. Now you need water again. <laughs> Thank you, Felix, for the torture. <laughs> and now we have to find our fuzzy little beast and have her don her cape. <laughs> well, if it isn't the fuzzy oh, little beast. Oh, the fuzzy beast. little beast is here. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. <laughs> okay. Come here, fuzzy beast. Come here, come here. Oh, you're licking your paw? I'm gonna put your cape on. Here you go. Ta da! Dulcie, come over here so everybody can see you. Come here. She's like, I just came over here. Come here. What are you guys doing? Alright. Well, nobody wants to see that. Flash your butt. <laughs> hey, Fuzzy. Hey, Fuzzy. How much are you at just on now? We just broke fifteen uh, hundred dollars, so we're at fifteen eighteen thirty. So one thousand five hundred and eighteen dollars and thirty cents. So Dulcie is now donning her cape. Elo with the lemon together. <laughs> we lemon together. <laughs> Can I say hi? Oh, I hear purrs. Oh. Is it time to get some purrs? Or are, oh. we gonna get our... are we going to get some purrs? Are we going to get our VOD muted for having purrs? There's a story behind that statement, chat. Miori, lick a lemon, you sourpuss. Turn the mic around. It's, uh, no. Turn the, the mic around this way? Yeah. I'll lick a lemon in a moment. He's over here. He's over here. Don't know if you can hear her purrs, chat, but, uh... She's happy. Madame Wario, what a sweet baby. Thank you. She's our baby and she's wearing a cape right now. You can't see it because we keep going zooming in, but here's her little cape. It's just pink. That's it. She doesn't mind wearing it. It's pink for cancer. What's You're just really happy. She's just so happy. You're just really happy. You just want the pets. You have a calico too? Oh, got the king. You have a cat too? What kind of cat? You hear purring? <laughs> yes, a good girl. As a good girl, yes. So happy. Come see her. Yeah. Yeah, come see her. This is Dulcie. She's 12 years old, and we adopted her. Ooh. Uh, 12, 11, 9. Uh, like five, four or five years ago. Your cape's falling off. No, it's just turning sideways. It's a good 
We have a whole bunch of costumes for her, but they're packed away because we recently moved. Um, so she's got a... His name is Ringo. Hi, Ringo. And I have to fix that. Uh, adjust. And there we go. Um, so yeah, this is Dulcie. She's 12 years old. And uh, she's an adopted cat. She's our only fur baby. Hydrate yourself, girl. Thank you, soul system. Ah, it just sprayed me in the eye. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta lick that lemon. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, do I have any lemons left? Thought I saw one. Uh, that one you bit. I have a tiny, oh no, that one you didn't bite. I have this lemon right here. Licking it. You know what? That one doesn't have any taste to it, really. Oh, that one does. I probably already licked that one in the past. Oh, cats are awesome companions. Especially my Dulcie. Can you switch it back? I can, sorry. I'm gonna a few things. I know, I know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Posture check. Thank you. is out there. Our computer is just like, do I want to let you see this? Ye? No yen. <laughs> We've officially tripled our original gold chat. Give yourselves a pat on the back and pipe things. Ugh. Yes, please do. Come on, I just wanted to land on top. Okay. Annoying. Oop. Nope. I want to go up here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can I please just go up there?
You put a mustache on the Dulcie? <laughs> I just saw the view counter dip from 22 to 13. Are you telling me that that's not a Twitch glitch? That's a Twitch glitch. Whether, you know, the first one be accurate or the second one be accurate, it's a glitch, yeah. For all the graces out there. You bouncy. Yeah, I'm on the last world. Oh man, we still have like uh we still have like three and a half hours. Oh, that's plenty of time. Yeah, but what are we gonna do for the rest of the time? No, we're gonna be doing this. It's gonna take three and a half hours? It might. Oh my god. We're near the end of the game, but it's it's not a fast thing. It's still a process. Gotta go? Okay, bye! Thanks for stopping by! Good evening, Spyro! The amazing Rendini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. My magic show seems to have overexcited them all. All they need is a good bonker on the head to calm them down. And you look like just the yeti to help. A light tap on the head should sort them out. But be careful, my friends are trying to burrow after them. themselves all worked up a light to tap Proud of you too, doing amazing things. Oops, forgot the timer was going. Did not do a 
I like the Nowhere. A light the tap on the head should sort them out, but be careful. I'm not gonna catch that one anyway. Okay, I'll go Should sort them out. These things keep getting in my way! One more, one more. Well done! And yes. one of my friends dug this up whilst chasing the moles. Your eyes are dark. Very, very dark. Now to get the 
treasure. Six, six, six. Unmuted. How's everybody doing? Checking. No more has been raised on Facebook. guidebook first actually because I want to finish off the fireworks factory um but I am also going to go on a quick break just to go to the washroom so I will be back in like two minutes or less Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so let's finish off this area here. Um, we'll just go in this cannon to go right up to the area we need. Do you have any underwater? 
water segments left? Uh, I don't know. Hey, Spyro! I'm helping a kid named Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know I'm always ready to kick some Rhinox booty! I'm just gonna turn the brightness down because it's helping a little wash out. Okay. Hi, Agent Nine. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the attack button to shoot, and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge left and right.
Oh my god! What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the raid! If you haven't already noticed, we hit $1,500! Oh my god, there's so many bobs. God, my chat is just bobs. It's a bob raid. Little Tobo and Tofu bust out the bobs. Everybody put your bobs out. <laughs> Why not? Everybody else is doing it. Little Tofu's been... been corrupted. <gasps> Thanks for rescuing me. You better look after this egg before the Rhinox try to blow that up too. <laughs> Everyone show us your bobbies. <laughs> Oh my god. I think I got them. I didn't get them all. Okay. I feel like there's this thing now. It's my new favorite thing. <laughs> You guys are funny. <laughs> I want to partake, but I'm playing. <laughs> Got a keyboard in front of you. Show us your bobbies. Yeah, show us your bobbies. Uh, what's it called? Bob? Oh, <laughs> cool story, Bob. Pixel Bob. <laughs> but really, I only got two bobs. It's a sad moment in life when you are too busy playing Spyro to pop after bobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is my ear bleeding? No, it's not bleeding. Oh, I just got sent something by Elo. I just noticed it. Oh, it's the Wee Lemon together. <laughs> we have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have defeated Twitch's outmod with the power of Bob. <laughs> so we've gone there, we've gone there. We'll go up here. Um, okay, yeah, I, I did three. Perfect. Desert Ruins. I like this place. I just like the way it's designed. Wow, that 
has a loud sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it through yeah, stream. Wow. <laughs> That, that was my dad. <laughs> Hello, you must be Spyro. I've heard a lot of people talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, but I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but, you know, there's all these scorpions. So this is, uh, Hara is, uh, based off of Lara Croft. I don't actually remember if you can kill those guys. Oh, oh you can. Turning around to check something. <laughs> Ruby, you missed it. Do you want me to just show you my bobs? Yeah, Ruby, you want to see their bobs?
Duh. Look at my bobbies. You don't know Bob Ross? Hi Spyro. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? good stream okay no problem um oh i don't know what i said sorry you're glad to see me it just happens that i know the uh, password 
to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem? But it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Very well then. The password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible! Told you it was a bad idea taking those bandages off. I just kept those bandages on. I don't know why you took them off. Just because it was itchy? I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology. Super high impact underwater missile launchers. Want to ride them and try blasting some sharks? Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. Cornbread! <laughs> Cornbread, guess what? We're at $1,518.30. Yeah! Exploding ammo, okay? I don't want to scare off my new pet. Ready to try again? Right on! Try not to get ready to try again. Right on!
Where are you at? Did he find me? the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. Um, not in three that I play. Like, if, if there was ever a game where you could take the control and then you should have the third one where you're playing the whole side. A lemon. Let me finish what I'm trying to do. Can't even find it. How do I stop? Okay, lick a lemon.
dollars towards the Canadian Cancer Society. That <laughs> we're still going. We got. I mean, we we're still going. $1,538.30. Call me with the 20. Thank you. Every little bit counts. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around, and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, you might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg anyway. I'm gonna stretch the other leg. Ooh! another 20 oh we are getting closer and closer to another 100 milestone hello oh my god <gasps> it's a raid nicotine The absolute state of the Canadian dollar. I know, right? Yes! Fatal! Sigh! <laughs> Nicotin! Didn't know there was one before. Throughout the day, we've had a few, I think. <laughs> Show your bobs, chat. <laughs> I want to see your bobbies. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ruby's joining them this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ruby! Oh my god, this chat. <laughs> Sunglasses. <laughs> down here. Something down there.
Wait, I know where I've got to go. Thing. Hi, Spyro. Haven't seen you. No. I'm lost guys. I'm not the master at the third game, so I uh I am lost. In here? I'm at 120. I also don't know how fast it takes you to collect 30 dragon eggs, so... dragon eggs for me to unlock the portal once I've opened it you can confront the sorceress whenever you're ready but be careful she'll be expecting you oh, so technically you should fight yeah boss, right? yeah it's just if you want a 100% the game and I do
<laughs> what are you guys up to? I'm just trying to get everything all the way to the end. Yeah, I'm getting real tired, but I, I, if anything, I'm getting kind of munchy. Munchy. Doritos Cool Ranch. <laughs> and drink. I'm so excited for sushi tomorrow. Ah, I missed it. Oh, I hit the water. <gasps> Bitties! DJ Mingus! We got the bitties! Thank you! <laughs> Love what you're doing on this stream. No problem. It really, you know, comes close to home, so it was a no-brainer. Said it's only walk ins now. So let's go for opening. 11 30. Okay. I thought I was going to touch the water there. I called and they said it was walk-in 1130. Okay. Um, yeah, we can go for 1130. Did you want to uh, meet up there or... Um, um, 
do you do you want to meet there or do you want mm, to like carpool? <laughs> We're going to have sushi tomorrow. Okay, I'll meet you there. Uh, race the blue foot of the And I'm allowed to say bl blue foot of boobies because those are ever. Favorite kind of sushi? Mm, yes, what is your favorite kind of sushi? Tell me. I second guess myself. not work the way I wanted it to. Fifth place on the second lap. It's not good. Concentration. 
eel is not normal. Barbecue eel is so good. so chewy and fishy when I had it. Yeah, it was fishy that one time. It was like really slippery and gross. <gasps> it's me! Uh, I'm Because I saw something and I want to go back to where it was. Flying sheep saucers keep coming from. I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with them as long as I can make it through those rings. Scarred for life. <laughs> I'm gonna chase him down. I'll be right hey, back. guess what? I get to play as Hunter. Oh, there we go. Not exactly what I had in mind. Oops. Wow, I'm surprised I made that. The controls are inverted. Saucer crash landed. We are almost done doing this game. How many dragons are you up to? Hmm? How many dragons are you up to? Um, I don't know. I haven't checked. This is our goal, people. Okay, you have another 25 left, and then the final box. You have two hours and ten minutes. Ooh. Not a lot.
Yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock, or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? the lurk.
that was BS. the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? That is correct. Good luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. So tired. Take a snooze. The first round of the annual demolition oh, hover. The riddle is only, here. Uh, two hours left. Very.
that was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. Getting close, guys. We just need a few more eggs. Into the championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? My, my, such a brave reptile you are. But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship. to the my my against a wall that I couldn't move around. I don't know that girl, okay. You may now enter the championship round. However, this is a my my Watching Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Okay. You may now enter the. My, my, such a brave reptile you are.
indeed a battle for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. Dogs are the funny hats, but a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny, come to think of it. Oh, boy, that dog's gonna bang. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you're able to solve my riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. Steps. My, my, you're quite clever for... I don't know how to use the ball. I am pushing all of the buttons. <laughs> pushing all of the buttons. The buttons are normal. Oh well. I play Spyro, I don't play Agent 9. Behind the 
here's mine. we go. love we're getting there I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet do you remember the riddle I am a vessel without hinges lock or lid yet within my walls a golden treasure is hid what am I heart Oh, an egg. Okay, mm. thank you. Have you heard that one before? <laughs> I never thought you'd get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. To all the wills out there. You fabulous. I've waited 7,000 years for someone to Careful, solve that the last time we did that. Now I, I know. finally <laughs> off the seashells. Just started crying. <laughs> oh, oh, my God.
gosh. It's so difficult, this part. six lives. Buddy. Hey, buddy Tony, this is you. You fabulous. Fabulous dragging you.
I came in here to check on my prisoner only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them routed dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble and there's not a thing I can do about it. I love how there's a reward for Sergeant Bird. And see the light. It's so, so bright, so holy. So romantic. <laughs> We need to turn on a light in here. Yeah. It's dark. People have another hour and a half to donate their another $42 and that will probably be the final lemon wedge. You guys have been absolutely astounding. You have absolutely blown this weekend away in terms of both. Bless you. Yes. Well said. Ow. Ah! The light at the end of the tunnel! had that kind of reach. If all do viewers donated, that's only three fifty each. That is very astute. What a cheap shot is that? Get 
this one? I did. Sours threw an A down this flooded mine shaft. <laughs> I get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. Swimming, young dragon. <laughs> the sheriff promised me I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs. down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I could tell you what's going on. The Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to go in there and flush them out. Well, good luck to you.
Ah, oh, shoot. Gotta do it all again. Yes. I see. I see a sigh. If you just come, we're good. There I go. I thought I was dead that last round, but nope. This version on the Switch, they kind of, it's kind of laggy, so they, it shows where they're going to pop up a little bit before they pop up. What? I hit you! No! Oh. Mm, this is my least favorite minigame. Not the one where you have to kill the dragon? Oh! I hate that one too. If you just calm down for a second and- Yeah, why did you do that? Well, good you luck to you. DK64? I'm not good at it. <laughs>
You literally just, you came down like a wrecking ball. I did it. so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. Sharon. Feels like a speed run that's not a speed run. A long run? A run? <laughs> it's a run. Sergio. Well, I'll be, so that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the runt of the litter, though. Thank you. Jumping Jehoshaphat! That's the Jump cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. Need you. Good 
window. <laughs> it's fatal. Janela's rescuing all your eggs. Uh, we are at 1,558. To these places I forgot that's why we're behind well do you think you can do it I think so all right Well, it looks like... I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, <laughs> yes, they won't I'm let so me join the Help me put them back together and I'll make you an honorary member. It is my duty. Thank you, Parky.
Ricky is a sign of your honorary membership to the Lord. Hey. <laughs> well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. <laughs> Dragon Knight Lady Janella Frost. Mushroom Speedway Travel. We got almost uh, less than one hour. Ooh, stretch them legs. Thank you. Hey, baby. Hey, this is Harry. Um, uh, time is to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Look out, sheep! Here I come! And I died right away. <laughs> Whoa! Looks like I'll have to... Look out! Look out, sheep! Here I come! What? What is... What is hurting me? Whoa! Looks like... Look out, Crazy. What? I saw that one that time. Whoa, you think like UFO is like spawning behind you? No, they're shooting at me. See? Right. Wow, that is that's aggravating. It's it's looks like look out. <sighs> You have such a huge box? Yep. Always be fine. This egg. As your dragon queen, you have officially been knighted. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my dad. I want to thank my husband. 
for giving the idea. <laughs> for the nest defender. The nest defender. Oh, that is golden. <laughs> the protector of eggs. <laughs> I love it too. The Academy thanks you for your hard work. <laughs> I know, I've done so much. <laughs> okay, so now there's a new place we have to go. Because remember what it said, come back? I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. Now we get there's to play as Sparks. <sighs> I'm just hydrating myself. Hello, Sparks. Before you take on those nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. The dragon Knight Lady. Let's practice Protector shooting. of Eggs. Defender Press of the Dragon's Nest. The yep, there it is. These <laughs> There's a D&D &D character, and all like that. That's your. That's just a D&D &D character. Next D&D character is already sort of that fairy dog. You can also move quickly by pressing the charge button, like. Epic title. Wait, wait. Oh Under god, travel, it gets better. You'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon world. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power up butterfly. Dragon then Lady. Press the jump dragon to use Lady Knight. Power up. Yep, that's Your good. Your power up is shown. Lady Knight of the Dragon, Protector of Eggs, Defender of the Dragon's Nest. There it is! Looks like you're ready, Sparks.
Island. From here, you are officially on the last island. Now I'm Sparks. I always drank it from Knuckles. 3.5 is just completely not take from the top of my spicy reef. <laughs> nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Well, that would have been, been helpful. That would have been helpful to have ages ago. I wasn't talking to you. You're no. There's one thing that's for sure. The loading times on the Switch don't help. Mm, yeah.
think I saw some rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do that all over again. And Bentley is so slow.
I think Spyro just did parkour for a second there. you ever What the hell? Where'd that guy come from? It says I'm com I've completed the... Okay, I'm gonna have to leave and come back because Sparks is telling me we have everything. Was it gems that you might have missed in the Yeti minigame? It would have told me we needed to go there. So it's it's glitched, and I swear, if we're glitched for the rest of the game, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, where are you at, Cheetah? You in this house here? Spyro! You're not gonna believe this, but there are sheep saucers and space cows all over this place. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Look out, cows! Here I come!
happy farmers. Unfortunately, I cannot make this go any faster. Roberto. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Spyro. We're running out of time, so I'm just gonna skip dialogue now. <laughs>
power up and now I have nowhere to go. Is that a key in this one? Where? Oh! Can't see that. There's a safe point. Okay, let's go to this. Don't get frustrated at me. Oh no, no, I'm not getting frustrated. Okay. Don't get frustrated at all. I'm just on my dipping toes waiting to see what you can do with my full health. Definitely a lot longer than the last thing. I know it's a lot longer. I said that. <laughs> yeah, you did.
Turn it off. Mm. Spiders. I hate spiders. Cheap shots. Why is this a bit like Binding of Isaac? I hate this. Because I hate spiders. It's kind of like Binding of Isaac, yeah, except, uh... I guess the, the difference was that Binding of Isaac was, uh, like the whole game is designed around this gameplay style, whereas, uh, I'm not saying that this minigame is poorly programmed or anything, but it's, uh, definitely doesn't get as much love as the, uh, the rest of the game. Definitely not as well done. I just need to make sure that I got all the gems. I did. Okay. Oh yeah. It's frustrating. We only got half an hour left to beat this. Oh my god. Yep. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna try my best. I mean, we could just go after the boss, but the game's not 100 percent -ed. Okay, we're going to go back to Bamboo Terrace, and if this game is bugged, I'm just going to go after the boss. Maybe kitty. No, she's awake. <laughs> oh my gosh, this loading. Okay, it's telling me to go somewhere. That's good news. Guy that bugged out. Oh, Lordy. These load times, though. Oh. I guess instead of leaving there, I could have just fast traveled somewhere else and saved the loading time. <clears throat> okay, we gotta go to this place to do the sparks thing. Speaking like a true speedrunner. <laughs> I ain't no speedrunner. But if there were a game that you could speedrun, it'd probably be the first Spyro. Mm-hmm. OK. 
Okay, his little cove thing. Here. Princess Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. Princess Amy. Oh my gosh, I, I lost track of what my buttons were supposed to be.
This part? No. This is just a lot of control. Ah! <laughs> the queen of the noodly arms. minutes. I don't think you're gonna do it. You don't think I can do it? I don't think you're gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. All right. Hey Google, set a 20 minute timer. Whoa. There we go, you're on the clock. Where'd the bear at? Where's the bear? He's supposed to be on this bridge. Oh, I know where I need to go first. I know why he's not on the bridge. Meet back here later. Oh, wait, I know. I, I do have to fight the boss now. Oh, you can't get the other eggs until later? Mm. She's got an egg. There's an egg that's for sale. And there's an egg for sparks. Here we go, guys. Final boss. I've only beaten it once in my life. the hint that they give you.
big lady coming through. That was bull. Control it. Come on, sheep. No, 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 not big lady. That's really it? That's not Princess Amy. <laughs> that is it. That's the boss. They spend all that time with you playing side characters and they don't even do like a, a five phase boss or whatever with that side character. You just defeated that would have been the way to do it. Rescued the dragon eggs and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What you plan to do next, hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in Dragon Shores, hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. Laughter joining in. You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. <laughs> Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? What? Me? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> if, uh, if I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. Hmm. 
It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. Yeah, by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Laura. But I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say? Hunter, you fall that hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with him. Agent 9, isn't that a... Now, how many times have I told you not to taste that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Go, Liberty. Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. They... <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. <laughs> Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. <laughs> All right, we don't need to see the credits. I only got 10 minutes. $50 more dollars and you get a warhead. Yeah, Miori, that, that'd be a good way to leave off the uh, the event. If in the last 10 minutes to get $50, I mean, it's possible. But I'll have to wait until after she beats the game, though. What, the warhead? Yeah. Yep. Okay, now I can go... And he should be on the bridge, yep. Hey, turn around. Don't worry, Spyro. I won't be needing any more of your money. Good. Now, now, don't look so surprised. What? Get your butt back here. Give me my money. So he finally gets his come up and come. Give me my money. Oh, he's been peddling me for a long time. Give me more money! This is gonna take up the whole 10 minutes. We're almost there. I don't think so. There we go. Redemption, get that bear! Get that money! Roast the bear! Okay, um... Oh, no, times. not the lag. The loading times are what are gonna get you. Oh, 
another sparse segment? Yep. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not going to cut this stream off at, at uh, 12 hours exactly, but uh, I don't think you're going to do it in, uh, in time lapse. Oh! Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think you are gonna happen. Well, don't be discouraged, though. You still did. You're going to beat all three games over a. Get away from me! Oh my god!
Get away from me. For my dragon lady knight. Patel donating the last $50 we needed. Really? Yep. I died! <laughs> <laughs> Renji, thanks for the follow. Fatal, thank you for the 50. I'm gonna die. Bugs. 